All right, welcome to Roleplay Cafe. I am Jason. I am your uh, GM tonight for Simba Room. This is session number 14. The title of it is To Witness a Myth. Uh, we'll see if that's indeed true. Uh, Dell Branham, Roleplay Cafe's yep. founder and co-designer co of our game. And below him there is David on my screen, which is what you'll see. And next to him is Todd, our longtime gamer and GM of our job campaigns, playing fellow. So we have, finally, a return to Simba Room. Uh, Dell playing the young Bonner, uh, what, 17-year-old, uh, wannabe priest of Prios, so to speak, self-made yeah. self man, as it were. David playing in a, a retired uh, or an ex-army soldier, right, uh, who has uh, seen plenty of horrors already in his young career here. And uh, Todd playing a bit of a uh, uh, rogue, so to speak. Mm -hmm. No, am I right about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, I am roguish. Yes. Uh, so here we go. Let's do this. Uh, last we left off, uh, Malleus had been rescued uh, from the sewers of Thistlehold, where uh, unfortunately cultists have been conspiring to bring something upon Thistlehold. Mostly, uh, it appeared to be who knows corruption uh and malleus um uh suffering with uh illness that began many many months ago as he was infected uh in the uh, davakar forest uh was being treated when um taro and uh, uh cabello showed up to uh, uh bring him out basically when we discovered that uh, uh there is there is corruption in the sewers of the Thistlehold. And uh, in the meantime, between sessions, uh, Father Cervello has convinced the Queen's Legation, or I should say uh, Surya, who is the uh, 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 Queen of Thistlehold, and her father, the Count Argona, to um, set fire to the corruption in the sewers. And uh, from that, here midday uh as you have heard from bonner as he's returned from council with uh hulse and you've seen the queen's army in reaction to the fires getting out of control in the north of the city as the queen's army has now issued orders the criers run the streets uh telling everyone to evacuate to the south gate the army has blocked off certain thoroughfares trying to control um uh, individuals coming in and out of those uh, alleys and streets, and they are funneling all civilians through the city, trying to get them out as the army is uh, running a bucket uh, brigade, uh, bucket, uh, bucket brigade to douse the fire. Unfortunately, where you stand now in the Antiques Plaza midday, uh, and you hear this from Bonner as Bonner relays what he learned from Hulse about what what's going on and uh you hear malleus from the young bonner's uh, uh lips that uh the black coats are uh there's a writ for your arrest and they are looking for you within minutes of bonner chasing into the plaza to find you and tell you this you see how crowded it's getting you can see now the sun blotted out by dark black fumes of smoke and you can hear the screams and the chaos in the northern areas of the city and it is clear that uh, uh, the fire has unfortunately begun to take hold of these wooden buildings, this tight, uh, narrow wood structures in this fortified, encircled city by a palisade wall 30 feet high. And uh, you're seeing the Queen's Army now. Um, at this point, uh, it's, it's becoming a bit raucous as people panic. Malleus, uh, you've heard from Bonner, the black coats, and now as you glance around the plaza, you actually see black coats, and they they appear to be moving through the now thickening crowd of the throngs of people, and they are appearing to be looking for you, or maybe you're imagining this, but you've counted maybe four or five around the plaza, moving to the crowd. Uh, Cabello, uh, you see Hulls as he as he. Uh, uh, Bonner tells you this information. You see Hulse through the crowd as he runs with his bodyguards to a to a uh, ladder along the uh, 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 one of the sides of these three story buildings, mm -hmm. twenty five feet high. And you see him take to this ladder. 
as he and his bodyguards begin to climb to the rooftops of one of the Thistlehold uh, townhouses, right, uh, buildings. Um, that is the scene of chaos now, um, okay. as it is it is getting uh, a bit chaotic here. Can you just remind me who Hulse is? Hulse is the uh, he is the prime courier for the queen. So he is the if you have a message that must get there, he's the message guy. He's he's he uh, he, he takes missives right? all over the kingdom or queen all over the and uh, so he is the most renowned and most successful courier uh, of missives. So he tends to carry important information. Legal information, etc. Right. Okay. All right. Now, as as I'm covered up, I've doused a little bit of water that I've, I've, you know, found in a puddle along the way, trying to block out some of the smoke that's issuing out of the the vents, underground vents. Huge smell as uh, I'm coming off of telling uh, Malleus this. The black coats, Malleus, and I'll point off. I think they've misappropriated you as the cause of some corruption around here <laughs> look but I, I know you're I know you're not as such and I'll look around and I'm seeing uh, Holtz because I just left him right and he's going up the ladder no well, so, well you you wouldn't know uh, oh, Cabello we, saw this kind of over your head behind you okay yeah right gotcha right. okay right. okay yes so uh, I'll, I'll stop there I'll yeah. stop there I, I I will I will point it out to uh, my companions I I see Holtz uh, sending a ladder to one of these buildings and uh can't help but wonder what uh, what what's he up to with, and he's got right. some other people with him, right? Uh, he he's always uh, accompanied by two bodyguards, as he, uh, he right. goes he goes everywhere in the kingdom on foot. Okay, right. All right. So I say, see, my friends, look, uh, look, is that not Hulse and his bodyguard ascending the side of that building there? I wonder what they are up to. And as you Perhaps turn, trying you're... to gain mm-hmm. to gain advantage to to see the quicker way out of the, the city. You know, I look around because there could be flames anywhere. Okay. Yeah, you're... Are, you're are we familiar seeing... with this area? What type of building he's climbing up? Yeah, uh, uh, as far as what the building is, no, it's just, uh, it could be a, a home, it could be... I mean, it's not a, a business, per se. Okay. Okay, so it's not, it's not like building a business. When there's, when there's, there's all this fire is about... It doesn't make sense. They could be trapping themselves on the higher ground. And, and as you watch him uh, top, and two of his bodyguards are climbing, you see them, the throng of panicked people moving through these tight streets. They actually pull the ladder down, and the bodyguards slide uh, with him down. And you hear, you see the you, people uh, make a make a hole as they scream as the ladder hits. And you see these uh, two bodyguards bounce uh, and Hulse now uh, on top of the building. Uh, sees oh. the the ladder pulled from from beneath him. Uh, he looks about the roof, scanning uh, uh, off north, almost like he's trying to get a bird's eye view of what of what is happening on the north side of town. Huh. Mm. Um, Malleus, hey. you you definitely need to make a discreet check for me at a uh, plus two to your discreet. Okay. Uh, this will probably be a failure, gentlemen. Just so you know, but we'll see. <laughs> He's not discreet at all. <laughs> so that will be a seven or under I need to make. Just so uh, everybody okay. knows. Yeah, seven seven and there's a 12, so negative. That okay. Is a uh, and you hear, uh, you hear above the, raised above the, the, the throng of, of chaos and, and, and chatter and screaming. Uh, you hear somebody yell, there he is. And you look, Malleus, in that direction. And you see one of the black coats. Uh, and then he makes eye contact with two others, and they can see them now. They've, they mm-hmm. have triangulated you, and they're moving now through the crowd. I need uh, one of you, I don't care who does, make a strength check for them at minus Four. three. So just make a D20 so check. D20 roll for D20. me, and I'll, I'll okay. subtract it. Yep. Okay, I rolled a 10. Okay, uh, and they're fighting to get through this crowd, this mob, mm-hmm. uh, and it's, it's bottlenecked. Uh, on the south exit of this uh, plaza, that's what's causing the problem. Is people keep coming from all outlets, all roads, all cities. They're p- piling into the main uh, plaza, and they're all trying to get through the south to get to the south gate. 
And remember, Thistlehold is big enough that it could take you an hour from the south gate to the north gate. So you're 30 mm-hmm. minutes from the south gate if mm-hmm. you were just walking through the streets. Uh, with this amount uh, right now, thousands of people in the plaza uh, moving, right. it's, uh, it's a bit of a mob uh, 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 problem here. They are trying to get to you, Malleus, but they're fighting, uh, struggling to fight through the crowds. Mm-hmm. So you, you okay. know you have – Sometimes they're not they're not getting to you readily, but right. but they might get oh. to you here, you know, in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, so, in are are we in the center of the plaza? Are we on the southern end? Uh, you are on the uh, you okay. would be on the north. Uh, uh, the east, northern uh, end. Excuse me. The north. This would be the north um, east west mm-hmm. northwest area. because that would have been west? coming okay. from the Queen's Legation Avenue area, where Bonner would have so, met you. Right. Uh, so, this Hulse would have been coming from the Queen's Legation with Mrs. Um, right. So in regards to our location, and uh, where is this building at? That, uh, that would be the, uh, that would be uh, left. East of us? Or? Uh, yes, that would be east, almost directly east. East of us? Okay. Yep. Uh, right. oh. And probably 75 feet, uh, 100 feet okay. from you through uh, throngs of panicked people. Mm-hmm. And then one last question for me is, uh, so with the three black coats, are, are they uh, blocking our way towards the east? Towards no, they're that coming building, from they're coming they... from the north. They'd be coming from the north. Coming from the north. So you guys are north. I'm oh, sorry, wow. you guys are on the yeah. northwest side. Sorry, very and, okay. Yeah, and the west, yeah, no, the no, building you're right. is west yeah, of right. you. Yeah, that's right. They're coming from yeah. the northeast side. So I had the I have you guys okay. the wrong side. So you're on the northwest oh. side, uh, okay. and the building is west that Hulse is on the roof of, uh, right? Ah, okay. they're coming from the northeast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which wait. Would be wait. Right. We're, 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 are we down like by the south gate? No, you're Not thirty quite. minutes. No, we're north. Uh, yeah. In this madness, you could get there uh, at a trot in about twenty minutes. But in we're this, in the antique plaza. Yes. Okay. But in the strong of of yeah. of masses of people, uh, it would be difficult to move quickly at all. Matter of right. fact, Malleus, as you. Tense up when you hear them see you know you see the yeah. a tall one point you out and they and you triangulate yeah. with two other guys you realize a little claustrophobic here is drawing your weapons and having a battle in uh, the, it would be difficult to do without killing innocents. Okay. Perhaps we should follow the example of Ols and uh, yes uh, yes get off the ground the words out of my off my lip from my lips yes yes Let's do that. Okay. Right. Bonner, Bonner steps up though, and uh, he's directly because he's cued in on on these black coats. And I I warn you, in the name of Priya, step no closer. You uh, you approach a innocent man. You know, so I'm holding my hand back toward uh, Malleus. He's backing up because I've heard you know what's what's been leveled at him, and uh, I will start. Uh, Holding on to my uh, make a uh, persuasion check with a minus three in this because you've got to be you're trying. But to, I'm calling. I'm calling on my patron saint to, oh. to clear the area out here oh. and to be effectual to where they. Okay, so you're not get, just barking get, get orders. Get you're actually you're actually pulling out. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm holding my my okay. my relic to do this. Okay, and I believe oh. it, I'm trying to remember it was doll or something like that. But sure. anyway, okay. Um, or was it another game? Anyway, uh, <laughs> well, you may so, have a relic, really, but I don't think it's required of you in this. But it, it well, I know, but it's the magic. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the patron saint—that's what I'll be calling up. And, and all this fog and all the yeah. obscurity or whatever. And I'm hoping to, uh, yeah, to, we can beat it out of here. You know, especially with all eyes on the patron saint. But anyway, that's okay. what I, that's what I'm calling forth right oh, there. Right. The uh, so tell me how this manifests itself. Does it manifest itself in an actual entity that? That would. Uh, I've, 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 he's manifested before. Remember in the fog. Yes. yes. In the fog? Uh, correct. Okay. Right. Well, you're going to see shafts of, of light. Okay. Kind of, you know, come down at odd angles as it illuminates through the through the billowing rancid smoke. Okay. And then kind of a swirling of the smoke too as it as it goes up in this this illuminated figure. Okay. Uh, he stands there with uh, armor on. He's got a flail of of light in his hand, gotcha. and he's. Okay. Pretty majestic. So let's make a, let's make a uh, this is interesting. Let's make um we're gonna have to make a check here against this panic this crowd as this yeah. this 
I mean, they all know there's fire and they all expect fire. Uh, and they see this manifestation of light. It might, it might cause a panic in the, in the mob. So let's make, oh, yeah, a, yeah. let's make this a, uh, let, let's make a, uh, minus three, uh, uh, check. Uh, we're going to do this off your cunning. So gotcha. subtract three from your right. cunning and make that roll for me. Okay. I rolled a three and well, my cunning subtract my cunning Nine. Okay. Six, but I got a three. So okay. Wow. So uh, uh, people do see it, and they 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 start to force themselves to get away from it, part part from you, kind of opening. And it's a good thing you did because it does open a bit of a pathway for Malleus and Cabello and you to move freely as this thing leads you through the uh, as 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 it walks, uh, it parts this sea of peoples as they get away from it, right? As they they you know mm-hmm. in there, uh, so. Uh, effectively leading you wherever you're telling it to go right yeah i wanted to uh, park all the billowing smoke and everything as we as we walk okay uh, uh cabello make a uh make a uh a check for me this would be a uh, uh vigilance check okay uh this would be for cabello uh, for cabello okay. yeah cabello it's good, vigilance. It's good, it, it's good it was vigilance check okay at I'm minus also, at minus uh, three in this crowd of this chaos Minus three to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Thirteen. That's uh, no. I have a vigilance of ten. Okay. So, uh, so are you are you trying to get to next to any a multi-story building or the one Hulls climb? Well, there's no uh, there's no ladder there now. Well, the ladder was just the mob just pushed the ladder and it fell and, and hit the ground. Uh, right. So it I, may I be think... there being trampled by thousands of yeah. Uh, so we're not going to get that ladder off the ground. <laughs> yeah. There's all these people. We we should look for another one. And uh, if if we're any, if we're anywhere near Malleus, I'm going to you know make sure my hood is up and my cloak is around my face so that these black coats can't identify right. me. Right. Right. Uh, Amalius, okay. you notice that they uh, they take advantage of this swath of room. Yeah. That the, yeah. The, uh, and they yeah. fall into this uh, hole of uh, that's been left yeah. by this uh, this lead figured. manifestation, yeah. and they pick up. And you notice uh, Cabello. Uh, one of them uh, appears to be a flagellant with whip in hand, sword in other mm. hand. Uh, one mm. is clearly a champion of Prios, uh, an experienced black cloak. And the third mm. appears to be just a, a, a kind of a, a black cloak uh, minion, but uh, a flagellant um, cursing, uh, calling b- from behind. Uh, Bonner, this might ring uh, true to you as you hear him call out in the name of Prius, stop the heretics, uh, the flagellant oh, 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 wow. screaming uh, heretics uh, <laughs> on your heels well, as they as uh, they you know, Take this man as a flail too anyway, and he's supposed to intersect between us and them. You know what I mean? So he's my protectorate. So, okay. I mean, if we need to cartwheel or pinwheel around him, uh, initially, that's what I want okay. him to do. To, so, yeah, to I mean, as you guys guard. as you guys see this and kind of step aside, he'll turn and kind of pass right through you guys, uh, yeah. putting himself well, between who, you and them. The flagellant will yeah. immediately... Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Who puts... This was this is Dell's manifestation of uh, oh, okay guardian. right his, his, yeah, his the yeah. avatar or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. a he's a guardian yeah. uh, of Prius uh-huh. right, right. Uh, the flagellant angel, you know, the, flag, the, the flagellant immediately uh, pauses and looks at the uh, his his leader the black cloak and says this this is a this is a a, a creature of Prius this is a this is a and and he looks confused like uh, how would a heretic have such Mm-hmm. Power. Yeah, mm-hmm. what well, he needs to be. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we wondered the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he, he's providing us an avenue for escape. You know what I mean? If we can weed our way through the. Right. Well, through that, well, I'm you know, following behind Cabello, and I'll grab Bonner's sleeve or or whatever, and okay. pull him along behind yeah. us. Uh, yes. So okay, I, 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 I kind of backpedal a little bit, and I catch up with you. You know, looking over my shoulder. Okay. Okay. Uh, but, uh, everybody, make a uh, uh, well. Actually, not everybody. Uh, how would you handle this? Uh, let's think here. Uh, Cabello would probably be a quickness roll. Uh, uh, Bonner and uh, Malleus would be strength checks. Uh, so let's make uh, strength checks and a, a, a quickness roll, Cabello. Okay. As uh, yes. and uh, let's make those. Those will be at minus 
five to your attributes. What are we trying to do? Uh, well, I'll explain that depending on your results. Okay, so oh, we're rolling okay. and we're rolling minus whatever we roll. Yeah, I've so got you, a good quickness. No, no. That's so, what I was asking. so okay. quick, quickness, or, or, quickness for you, Cabello, is thirteen minus five is eight and below on a d twenty. Oh, I have to get eight or below. Eight and below. Okay, minus five. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, that's okay. Okay, yeah, that's, so. that's what I'm here for. That's right. Well, I didn't. Uh, you don't want to put no, me out of no. business, brother. My yeah, job I, is to administrate. Fail. <laughs> strength check for me. Okay, uh, Bonner, how did you do on strength with a minus five? Strength. Okay. Um. Now I'm trying to find strength. Uh, it's pretty high. Uh, I think strong. I thought Bonner's strength strong. was high, but it's, it's second from the right. You're strong. Yeah, next year. Yeah. Right there. Strong. Got you. Yep. Damn. No. Okay. Not so, minus five uh, Cabello, did you make it? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. So Cabello, as as you as as this this guardian of Bonner's uh, Prios guardian, uh, in a way, effectively blocks their progress as the flagellant now <laughs> is questioning uh who's the heretic here um buys you time but but cabello as you as you as you get to the eaves of this uh building uh that you you're hoping to scale or, or find a ladder or something uh you feel it's hard to say um whether whether you are uh whether this is real uh, when you feel it at first, like a rumble of the earth, however, hard to say, it's so chaotic, screams and people and a mob of people, uh, it, it, it rumbles enough that you stumble and fall to your knees under the eaves of this uh, first story of this two-story building. Uh, the ground uh, is rumbling. Uh, yeah, it's it's so much so that it's, oh. it's toppled you. Uh, Malleus, wow. uh, you feel it uh, again, uh, and, and it, it almost the earth almost bounces you. Uh, into the mm -hmm. air a couple of a few inches uh, as you're moving and brings you to one knee and Bonner again uh, uh, as you watch the flagellant respond to your guardian uh, you're you're staggered back when this rumble uh, uh, a heaving yeah. of earth you stumble back uh, under your bottom so you're all uh, at some point uh, Cabello on two knees Malleus down on a knee and uh, Bonner maybe sitting on your butt uh, upright but sitting uh, here all of you basically within a few feet of this building uh as gotcha. you notice around you dozens of people thrown off their feet uh stumbling falling people screaming now more but but by the time you uh, uh you know you're on a knee you're on your butt you're on both knees hand, maybe all fours cabello there's no more rumble it's like it hit like a rumble and it, it pitched everybody uh and, and hundreds uh, dozens of people in the same situation uh, and you, you, but it's not rumbling anymore, right? It's like it was like a split second. What the hell's was that? I look, that wasn't anything Bonner did. Was it? And Cabello's muted, so if I, Todd's speaking, I snap around and look over my shoulder. Yeah, uh, it, it, that, it, and you can see my eyes are wide too. Uh, the earth, it it moves. And I'll, I'll uh, get up, and you know what I mean, like with my hands pushing myself up, looking at the looking at the ground too, and bracing myself, kind of in a horse stance for any kind of, you know, the next uh, heave, yeah. as it were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bonner, you you hear uh, above uh, half a block down, uh, you hear yelling uh, above your head. As you glance up, as you uh, maybe are getting up from your seated position, you see Hulse yeah. uh, hanging from the rooftop mm -hmm. uh, as he has been thrown and rolled down the roof, and he's hanging now two stories okay, from I'll, the ground. I'll, I'll hold my finger pointing to Hulse or whatever and get uh, Malice's attention. Malice, Hulse hangs yonder. And uh, anyway, I'll start to, to make my way through that uh, throng of people that are laying about or whatever, milling my way through and try to get in that direction, which is, uh, I'm assuming, in the same direction that we're headed. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. Uh, Stop back It's just a. It's like that building is like half a block from where you guys yeah. are at in the eaves of this building. Um, okay. Uh, Cabello, uh, again, uh, Cabello, as you rise to your feet, looking about, seeing Hulse hanging, uh, you know, uh, screaming for help as he's toppled and he's holding on. Uh, you see goblins, and uh, hmm. they are uh, moving through the crowd, and they have lit 
uh, torches, and you see they are lighting buildings on fire. They are uh, what? They are uh, helping Thistlehold burn, and you see them uh, birch barrels that are used for fires and is, are used to light the the, the lamps. Uh, you see them lighting birch barrels uh, uh, and toppling them and kicking them into the crowd, causing these barrels to burst into place. And it's causing a bit of a, a panic and stampede as people run, uh, 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 you know, away. Who, who, who's doing that? Goblins. The goblins. The goblins uh, are on the roofs. No, no, they're on the ground no, with torches, the and they're they're Earth. trying to light uh, buildings on fire. They're clearly taking advantage of. The fire yeah, in the north uh, to to light right and and these goblins you would recognize immediately these are miners these are labor camp goblins these are not adventurers mm -hmm. these are these right. are these are miners these are goblins that Shig at one point uh, you know uh, had counsel with uh, their foreman mm -hmm. um, yeah these are these are goblins that have no love for the uh, thistlehold or for the uh, um, disquieted yes. Um, oh, and and yeah. so you see them, but there's nothing you can do about it. But you are aware. Oh shit! They're, yeah, this place is going up quicker than they're the, right. Yeah. They're working. They these okay, goblins so, are. Yeah. Um, you have to excuse me. I stepped out for a minute to touch sure. on uh, Sam, but but uh, are are we up on a roof now, or is this no no holes? Uh, no, but but the the same earth movement caused holes to topple, and he's hanging from uh, the roof of that two story building now, screaming for help. Okay. Um. Again, you're gonna have to remind me what our relationship is with Hulse. Is it just that we know of him, or yeah, just just having lived in Thistlehold for six months, and he was delivering missives to your uh, your townhouse. Uh, you got to know him as a courier that would bring you missives from the Chamberlain, the Queen's Chamberlain. Okay, yeah, he, he also he also requisitioned us to go get the knight at that one point. Correct. Okay, Remember that so one. so we we he's 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 a he's a. Somewhat of an ally of ours. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. friend, and, and he. Yes, uh, I, I would say a neutral party. First, a neutral one, party, but maybe if we saved his <laughs> yes. butt here, <laughs> right? Yes, uh, uh, might help us. Uh, out. Well respected, maybe liked, but he, yeah, he's yes. not necessarily yes. a friend, right? But he, he was a He gave us some coin to to get yeah. the the night at the time. You have to research. Anyway. Uh, it was a job, you know. You, uh, <laughs> uh, Mally is a uh, a bolt. Uh, mm -hmm. A oh, crossbow yeah. bolt yeah. whizzes by you yeah. uh, from the yeah. black coat uh, as, yes. he, uh, as he as uh, he uh, fires a crossbow uh, in your general direction, uh, missing yeah. you, uh, and fortunately mm -hmm. missing citizens that are scrambling and running. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, don't even uh, care as this, about that. As this guardian, now does this guardian require attacks from you, Dell, to to attack this? Yeah, yeah, he's he's set it out. Okay, yes. so uh, you've got this. Uh, 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 what appears to be uh, the leader of this group of three, the flagellant still, um, uh, I would say, affected by this guardian. He's he doesn't appear to want to embrace any combat against this uh, creature of Prios, but the black coat, the main black coat, is, is determined to get to Malleus. Um, so just so you know the situation, the other black coat appears to be confused as well. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. in this throng, I per, you know, Bonder probably wouldn't have keyed into that info. I'd just say the Patriot Saint was probably just anybody who attacks them, you know, he's at the ready to defend. Mm -hmm. So, okay. um, uh, does do I have uh, can I can I get around these black coats, especially? Oh, the, yeah, they're not, the they're lead. actually not close to you. They're uh, the not guardian, at all. okay, so the guardian is shielding them from getting to you. Oh, guys, okay, but okay. he's fired right, a random the, crossbow ball trying to get to Malleus, just trying to get which, okay, and, do, and we definitely signals right. Malleus that he ain't just here to arrest you, he's clearly right, right, right. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, so this so, black coat okay. may have another mission, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking, you know, they've got a crossbow. So if we start climbing a ladder, uh, ah, yeah. they're going to be a sitting well, duck. That's why I would, I would maybe try and I, go ahead. Can I, uh, can I uh, yell and motion, uh, Gabello, that? Uh, I'll point uh, to the side over there. Maybe I can draw them away and then and, uh, uh, flank them, possibly. That's yes. what I'm thinking. Uh, you know? Uh, yeah, so maybe you, do a bluff maneuver. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. 
So that let's make sense. a persuasive check. Yeah. Uh, you're trying to draw them away from Cabello and Bonner, basically? Yes. Okay, yes. so let's make a persuasive maneuver with a plus five. Is They, they want you. So that ain't going to be hard yeah, to yeah, do, right? So. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you're really not making the move to persuade them to follow you. It's to move through this mass of panicked people. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So persuasion is, is his thing. <laughs> Uh, so I've got a twelve, and nice. did I have a bonus plus five? Penalty, Jason? Plus five. So oh you, wow! You probably okay, can't right, fail okay. unless obviously you roll right, well, Let's let's see. Let's knock on wood here. <laughs> and an eight. So there you go. Done. Okay. So yeah, the uh, at this point the the main the main black cloak uh, hands his crossbow to the uh, the other uh, clearly the lesser ranked uh, minion, not the flagellant with the whip and the sword, uh, and he and you can see mm -hmm. him now pull a bolt. Uh, and you know now mm -hmm. that he, he doesn't have a crossbow, but he is pulling a bolt from his own, uh, and he's loading the crossbow for the main. Ah. Um, and he draws his sword as he's making his way uh, past people. And you see him pushing people uh, out of the way. Whether If they're coming past him from uh, right to left, he uses their momentum to throw them out of his way. If they cross him, he'll, he'll use their momentum to push them the other way. He is coming directly for you. Now, this Guardian would definitely uh, uh, be able to uh, uh, cut him off, Dell. So the Guardian is clearly capable, uh, angle-wise, yeah. of cutting off this this uh, this champion of Prios. The Flagellant, at this point, still uh, in awe of this uh, Guardian. He's not, he's not moving. Yeah. Well, it was meant to be a demonstration of, of you know, mm -hmm. Prius's power and to, to hold him fast. Uh, I am trying to make my way over to uh, see if I can gain purchase on the building to be able to go up and help Holtz this time. You know, or yes, at least, uh, you know, you said about half a block away, so I'm trying to run underneath him. Yeah, so let's make uh, a quickness check, uh, minus uh, yeah. three, as you're dodging people who are, who are all coming the opposite gotcha. direction, getting out of there. All right, nope, did not make it. Okay, well, you, you you're you're making it, but it's it's slow. You have to move yeah. through people, uh, and you're getting to this. Uh, you you feel under your feet. You stumble a little bit on the ladder, which is being uh, trampled on by everybody. You you step over one of his bodyguards who lay dead from the fall. Uh, you're not far from Hulse, but uh, you're at least closer uh, to being underneath him. Uh, but you have yeah. to work through these people. Uh, as this occurs, you you hear. Greater screams now uh, to your right hand side. That would be northwest, and you see uh, the the uh, men on horses. This would be Queens Panzers, as mm -hmm. they are uh, uh, riding, uh, leading through the streets uh, in a way, forcing uh, uh, the people to run faster or to part uh, next to the buildings and into the alleyways. As they plow a path past you, and behind them a, a horse. Uh, drawn carriage, six horses leading the uh, queens, the queen of Thistlehold and her father, the yes. count. Uh, um, what's his name? Uh, count uh, Argona passed as they're yeah. they're making their way through these crowds with a the Panzers on horses with a horse drawn yeah. carriage, cutting oh. its way through the, the the people trying to get to the south exit. Yeah, I, I would expect nothing less of them. So yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> Soraya, right, Soraya. Uh, and I mean, yet, they don't yet. care if they trample people. Uh, if they have to uh, cut them down, they're they're forcing their way through this 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 uh, you know this throng of yeah. screaming uh, people. Uh -huh. um, wow. uh, goblins Brutal. trampled underfoot, uh, barrels on fire. <laughs> it is chaos. And you now see now the, it's almost like uh, an, an eclipse. Is there is the plume of black smoke from the burning nor the northern city burning is blotched out. The sun, so it's almost as if oh, wow. night has fallen on the situation. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I would suppose that the the, um, the patron spirit is lighting up. Probably one of the only. Yeah, yes, the, literally. It, yeah, he would be lighting up the the whole area. Probably a, like a torch, a thirty foot space or you know fifteen foot space exactly. Exactly. diameter. Yeah. Uh, certainly casting light upon Malleus and the the three black coats. Uh, Cabela, what are you doing? We, so we know we know that uh, Bonner is charging his way back to try to get to Hulse. 
Kelt Cabello, uh, what are you about? Uh, so has has Malleus been able to lead the Black Coats away from yes. Bonner and myself? Yes, and the Guardian is capable of uh, of helping, um, you know, Malleus. Okay, all yeah. right. So then I will try and flank uh, these these Black Coats, especially the one who's I don't I, I, was there only one that had a crossbow. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, he handed the, – the, the leader handed his crossbow to the lower-ranked minion. He's trying right now trying to load the crossbow. So okay, he's kind of I'm, preoccupied trying to load it. The, the other – the flagellant with the whip yeah. is, is literally standing there kind of dumbstruck by this guardian. Right. Okay. Uh, the one loading – that's the one I want to get in behind there. Okay. All right? Because uh, that crossbow is, is our key danger, I think, if we're going to try to – Get into high ground, right. right? Right. So I want to make my way uh, up and behind this this uh, acolyte or whatever he is, mm -hmm. and I want to give him a quick stab to his femoral <laughs> artery. Nice, oh boy. Okay. Nice. Let's and make a. Uh, take him let's first now in this noise, this 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 mass chaos. Uh -huh. This will not be difficult, uh, no. but we are going to make a roll because it's important that he might catch out of the corner of his eye. Uh, sure. But you're going to get a plus five to your uh, discreet. Nice. Okay. So uh, you're discreet. Okay. All right. Yeah. So add five so. to that and then roll under. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah, keeping my blade uh, unseen as, uh, as much as I can until I get close up enough to him. And then I'm going to kind of just run into him and, you know, yep. give, him a, give him a knife punch with my dagger in nice. his femoral artery. Nice. And get I rolled a two. Him. Okay, and that, nice. you don't have to roll to hit. The discreet allows all of that to happen. You just needed yes. to not be seen. Very nice. uh, yes. So let's Very go ahead nice. and roll damage. Uh, your damage against him? Uh, stiletto, 1d8 plus 1. Nice. nice. And I think you can make two attacks, can't you? Uh, yes, I, uh, I thought you that's had a two. two throw. That's, that's steel throw. I've got two thrown attacks. Okay, okay. Okay, this is, this is more like a knife punch. Okay, so 1d6 right. plus 1? Uh, 1d8 plus 1. Here I go. Oh, 1d8 plus 1? Yeah. Okay. 8. Nice. Nice. Okay, he <laughs> uh, he paint. soaks some. His armor will soak some, but not much. Uh, this actually surpasses his pain threshold. Uh, he, drops nice. the, he drops the crossbow, screams out, uh, nice. stumbles back onto his back. Now, it's your choice. Nice. You can actually knock him down. Or you can get a second attack. Would you want him to actually fall down, or would you want to make a second attack? I because you breached his pain threshold. Okay, so... Your choice. No. No. I'm more concerned with, with getting the crossbow away from him than, than, than you know, killing him. Okay, I just so, want him so he'll out end of up, action. So he'll end up down on the ground, which means you would, have yeah. to, you would either have a bonus or you would have to get up. Uh, yeah. And you can, instead of attacking him, grab up that crossbow if you want to. Yeah, uh, he did not. He did not get a bolt into it. Uh, you know, as he was fumbling yeah. around with it, you've stabbed him in the in the femoral artery, right? Yeah. So, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> so he's right, he's on the ground now, and and uh, the sad thing is, people are trampling him and walking over him, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Right? As you've I think that's enough. Crossbow. Yeah. yeah, I want the crossbow, and I I don't care about the ammo. Uh, I just want to get it out of their hands. Okay. And disappear into the crowd again. Okay, so let's oh, make nice. let's make another discreet check at plus five again uh, okay, to see nice. if this flagellant sees what you've done to his friend. Yeah. yeah. It, oh god, I rolled a twenty. Oh, oh so no. while he stands, kind of uh, in awe of this guardian, uh, out of the corner of her eye, he hears his friend scream, looks, and sees this flash of a person come out of the darkness and the smoke lit up by the guardian glow uh and then he sees his friend uh wounded drops the crossbow stumbles back and he sees people trample over him the flagellant it's turns wild. his attention in your direction and he's uh uh headed toward you where you were at caballo he you can't tell if he's tracking you but he saw what you did okay my, my thing is to try and disappear into the crowd you got it yep and the discreet okay. check told tells us that that, that he saw you work. but whether he's tracking you or not, uh, you don't know. Okay. okay, so you're off into the crowd. Okay, so what do you want this guardian to do, Dale? Um, 
uh, Malleus is uh, this guy's within a few steps of of, of uh, a sword fight with Malleus. Uh, the flagellant is is walking the opposite direction, looking into the crowd for whoever stabbed his friend, and one is wallowing on the on the ground, wounded. Whatever the, the other one, uh, the flagellant, if he takes his, if he's walking away, yes. Then, in the same respect, uh, the the pigeon spirit will will back off. But you said that uh, the other one is close to, to Malleus, yeah, right? Yeah, he's, he's within so a he's few steps will. of uh, Malleus. Yeah, it would probably intersect there. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. At that at that point. Okay, so we're so. gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to a actual uh, initiative. So we're gonna have uh, uh, Malleus at thirteen. Mm -hmm. uh, the Guardian is, what is his quickness, the Guardian, Dale? 15. 15. So the Guardian will go first, Mali is second, and this, this champion of Prios will be third in the first round of this traditional combat. Cabello is working his way through the crowd and the smoke and the darkness of this blotted out sun. Uh, the, the, the people are moving a little faster now through the streets as some of the bottleneck is actually clearing. Um, and uh, this horse-drawn carriage now passed through. Uh, you hear screaming, but uh, it's almost as if uh, some of the people are, are thinning out as they're making some headway to escape south, right? So the st okay. streets are growing less crowded. Um, right. And uh, Hulse, Bonner, screaming and hanging from his fingertips. Above yeah, you. as soon as I get there, I'll try to be able to foolishly <laughs> catch him if he, if he happens to fall, <laughs> but I'm trying to... Yeah. Well, let's Put make a, let's make a strength ground. check for him at uh, minus oh, two. Uh, make a d twenty check for if him. He's falling. And now, if he's if he seems to be, if I get there and he's not falling, I'm going to try to instruct others to lift the ladder to okay. him. Okay. But if he starts to fall, I just want to be there to do that. Okay. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay? Um. Well, you still need to make a so, strength check for him. Do you want to instruct oh, people you. to grab up the ladder no matter what? <laughs> what? No, no. For for him, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't hear that part. Okay. So, um, anyway, a 10 is what I rolled. Okay. Uh, so, he's now hanging by one arm. and He's <laughs> he's lost grip, hanging from with by one arm, uh, looking yeah, about, yeah, screaming. And you see he's, the reason he's having trouble pulling himself up is this is an Eve. So, he's hanging free under uh, an Eve. There is no way mm -hmm. to get his feet on the wall and climb up. So, yeah, yeah. so it, it is a matter fire. of – it is a matter of his, his – his strength eventually giving out. So yes, if you want to bark orders to try to get this ladder up. Yeah. So let's make a persuasive check against panicked people at minus okay. five as they have zero interest in listening to you or, or stopping to help other people. They, they still retain zero okay. interest. Now you can certainly yeah. try to rustle this ladder up yourself. Jason, are his bodyguards still around? No, they're dead. They're lying dead here. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. from the fall. Okay, got it. Remember, fall damage, uh, <laughs> crushing damage, uh, bypasses armor, yeah. gentlemen. So you don't get oh, any sorry, armor help. Oh, wow. yeah. I, I may glance at the ladder, but but if people are, are laid about and laid on top of it and you know obscuring it. Yeah, and there's still people um, moving through the streets, stepping over it. I, I, it. I don't want to step away in case I need to catch him, okay. so to speak. You okay. know what I mean? So I'll okay. stay there. All right. He falls. So uh, I'm, I'm calling up to him. Hold on. I'm trying to get them to lift the ladder. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's it. let's uh, Cabello again make a uh, quickness check for me, and uh, Malleus and Bonner make another strength check for me. Okay. As the All ground, right. no, no, as the no. ground rumbles and heaves again under nope. your feet. Nope. Nope. Oh boy. Uh, any nope. penalties to that? Got it. Uh, yeah. Minus uh, three. Yep. Yeah. No three way. Check. I gotta okay. go. Got it. Okay, so Bonner, as you look up, you feel the ground. I mean, it's almost oh. because you're looking but up. I'm braced to catch him and I'm braced for any kind of, yep. you know, uh, But you damage. feel, you literally feel the ground. Now, this time you're fully aware of the ground, lift and heave yeah. under your feet. Uh, and, and you manage to stay uh, malleus. Um, yeah, make, let's make a check uh, for uh, the, uh, somebody make a strength check for our uh, uh, Black oh, Cloak. Okay. Go ahead. I roll it. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, so Malleus, well, well uh, it done. sounds like you <laughs> fell as well, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Yeah. For so sure. um, yeah. Uh, Malleus, you stumble back onto your butt. Uh, you're not flat out. You're just on your bottom, right? Maybe sword in hand by mm -hmm. this point. 
he stumbles forward yeah. uh, and uh, fall, comes to his knees, uh, uh, then hands down all fours, sword hits the ground. Uh, as he looks about, uh, this guardian is unaffected by such things. The guardian, uh, right. Uh, and Cabello, yeah. you're now, in a way, per- fighting through the crowd, uh, mm-hmm. prepared, you know, uh, uh, leaning into people. And, but the crowd kind of thins out in this darkness and mm-hmm. in this smoke. Uh, but the ground buckles and heaves on yeah. you and yeah. sends you kind of sprawling onto your hands and knees again. What people screaming again as you look about everybody. I mean, there's dozens of people that are again thrown into the air, heaving, falling, uh, as it is chaos. You see now uh, a glow in the north as the heat and the flames of the wall, the 30 foot palisade walls in the mm-hmm. north, glow. You actually can now mm-hmm. see the glow of the flames as it's beginning ah. to consume buildings and the wall. Mm-hmm. So not only do we have smoke blotting out the sun, but now you can see uh, a, a kind of a, 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 a bright red glow, and you can hear the screaming and the crackling of flames as it now seems to be moving south through the city. Does Holt seem to be in the same situation? Yeah, we need to make a All roll right. for him with this uh, ground upheaval with a minus five to his strength, so you have a six and below. Oh, no, oh, excuse well, me. It would, be, it would be a two and below for him with a seven string. Oh, boy. What'd you he roll? Fell. Oh, he fell. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to make a 2d8 damage check for him. Uh, no uh, oh. no armor protection for Hulse on a fall. Oh, boy. Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Four yeah. and five. Oh, so, uh, so Bonner, do you want to try to break his fall? You will accept some of this damage if you do so. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this was my intent. Yeah. Okay, uh, four or five. Which one do you want to take? Let me see. How, it depends on how many. <laughs> where, where do you, where do you want to I have. You, you should have ten. You, you, you <laughs> should have uh, ten uh, uh, toughness. Well, I get 12, 12 toughness oh, 12. is what I got. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't want to. But anyway, I'll take the. You mean uh, you'll let him die if it means you would die? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the the lesser of the two. Four. Nice. All right. So you're down to eight, right? And Hulse, uh, oh. thanks to that, Hulse is uh, 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 hurting, but uh, alive. But he, you basically break his fall. Both of you uh, collapse onto the yeah. ground under the weight of Hulse, uh, and uh, he's. Uh, Sure, he's 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 knocked the wind out of him. So he's gasping, rolling, uh, uh, coughing as he has no air. And if you've ever had the na- wind knocked out of you, you know you oh, know yeah. the terror oh, yeah. that is, right? Oh, if yeah. you've ever oh, had yeah. that happen to you, so uh, and uh, you aren't uh, knocked in such a way, but you are uh, uh, you are uh, beat up from this guy falling on you. All right. Um, well, after yeah. Good. Okay. Um, oh, he lands on Bonner. Yes, Bonner tried to yeah. break his fall, which yeah. he did. Yeah. He broke his mm-hmm. fall. Same, yeah. he, didn't, he, he would not have died alive. from it, but he would have been very, very close to dead. So uh, you've kept him at least uh, able to function. <clears throat> mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, so now we've got the Guardian, and we've got uh, Malleus on the ground. We've got the uh, black uh, coat on the ground, and uh, it would take both of you a turn to get up. However, uh, again, the Guardian goes first here in round two. Uh, that was round one. Nobody really got an attack due to the situation. So, right, right. Uh, and Cabello will be able to get up again. Cabello and Bonner are not involved in the combat, so we'll just go yeah. kind of around the table. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, the Guardian is oh. upright, and he would obviously go first if you want him to attack the right. Black Cloak. With accurate, right? Yes, sir. Uh, accurate. Attacking the black coat from behind, he's going to get. Uh, let's see his defense. Yeah, so it's going to be a, a straight, uh, uh, accurate roll and below. That's it. No modifier. Okay. Fourteen and below, and I get a five. Okay. Damage. What kind of damage does he do? Oh, uh, yes. Flows one d six. Four. Okay. Uh, Whatever the soak is. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, uh, so this guardian, as he's starting to get up, uh, strikes him uh, with this uh, hammer of Prios, right? This, this like, yeah. glowing mace. Uh, sending no, him it's a flail, actually. Flail, okay. So. 
uh, yeah, strikes so he, this uh, <laughs> this black coat in the back. So Malleus, you, see, you see the guardian strike him as he's getting up. Uh, and then again, Malleus, you go before him. So uh, you can get up before he does. Right? I do that. Okay. Yep. And then he, right. as he's getting up, this flail hits him in the back. And we'll go over mm. to Malleus, I mean to uh, Cabello. So Cabello, uh, yeah. you're able to get up, of course, if you want to. And the streaks yes, now, as you stand, you're seeing, and you can actually now see flames down the street as it's consuming okay. buildings, uh, as it as it's making its way to this wooden city. There oh, are a few gosh. people now at this point, but you do see scattered throughout the street bodies of the dead where they were trampled, where they were, uh, uh, you know, maybe died from fear. Who the hell knows? Mm -hmm. But there are dead strewn throughout the street, but there are no people rushing towards you. And you can see the flames now as they consume buildings up one of the right. avenues. Um, right. Lighting up it's, pretty good. And you're, you're seeing now the heat is so, is so uh, extreme. You can hear wood explode. You can see uh, you know, popping in. So, so the heat, before the flames reach it, you'll see, you'll see wood structures pop right. and explode. It's Blood. so extreme. And I'm feeling the heat? Uh, I would oh, say yeah. yes. Your problem, yes, I think you are definitely okay, uh, feeling so we're gonna a little bit. Move away. Okay, did, I see, did I see Hulse fall? Uh, you know, I don't think so. Uh, okay. In the darkness, uh, face down, having That's fallen. Uh, you probably you heard it. I bet you heard him scream, but you may not have seen it. Huh. <laughs> Lots of people are screaming. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, can I see any of my companions? I'll, I'll cast a look about and see. Yes, if I can as, as you uh, as you uh, stand up, uh, see these flames coming at you. Turn this literally up an avenue. That's uh, your friends are directly behind you. So as you turn, you see the guardian uh, fighting this black cloak. You see Malleus standing, engaged with a sword, and Bonner. You see over on the side is is maybe helping Hulse to his feet. Okay, and Malleus, he said, is. He's in combat right now. Yeah, you see that he's uh, facing up with this uh, with this uh, black cloak. That, okay, all and, right. And, but between you and them is the guardian. The guardian is actually kind of cutting you off from that black coat, right? And uh, we need to make a uh, vigilance check for you, sir, at minus uh, three. Okay. Where are you? Okay. Uh, oh. Seven, uh, and this exactly seven. Yes, uh, so you on the number. So I, I usually have a ten minus three is seven. Sweet, and I rolled a seven. Though. So at the last minute, out of the corner of your eye, in the darkness, thanks to the flames behind you, they illuminate the flagellant as the whip uh -huh. cracks just short of your face. Uh, mm. Oh, you're you know out of the you hear the snap and you feel the whip uh, uh, more. You don't really see it. You hear it, and you and you and you feel it before you see the whip. Yeah, and now you face. see oh, wow. just a few feet from you the flagellant stepping out right. of the out of the smoke in the darkness. Uh, oh, and no. he's he's lit up pretty good because the flames behind you are now starting to light up everything in front of you. You're backlit right. in a way, Cabello, by the flames. I'm right. backlit. Okay. Right. So my go, my yes, sir. My this would be a, this? you. Definitely okay. are faster than him with a fifteen. Okay. Well, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, throw the crossbow at him. Okay. <laughs> nice. And then I'm, going to rush, then I'm going to rush him with my dagger. Okay. Do you want That's the crossbow uh, to do any damage, or do you just want it to buy you a distraction bonus? I want your it hit? to buy me a distraction bonus. Sweet. So we're going right. to we're gonna, uh, give you then to your a accuracy a plus uh, his, in his – hold on. i got to look up his, uh, his defense is – Holy cow, his defense is plus five already, so plus six added Ooh. to your accuracy. All right. So if your accuracy is, say, 10, that'd be 10. 15 it's and nine. below to hit him. No, okay, 16 okay. and below to hit him. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, uh, the classic uh, distraction thing. Here, hold my crossbow. <laughs> right. right. No, I, I well, tossed it at him, right? Okay, I don't say that, but I tossed <laughs> it at him. And I rolled a 11, so yes. Nice. And damage. I, and damage. Three. Three, okay. And he soaks a little bit. So uh, the flagellant, mm -hmm. uh, you said three? Yep. Okay. So uh, uh, exhort, uh, uh, you know, uh, trying to fend off with his blade your attack, uh, uh, he uh, uh, manages, though, to uh, 
you know, sting his elbow, so to speak. You strike with such force, maybe it, it sends a little shiver down his sp- uh, down his arm. But uh, mm-hmm. back with the uh, right arm, uh, he's cracking that whip. So you need to make a uh, check. Your defense minus three, and your defense is your cunning for you. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you need a ten and below to avoid this hit. Uh, uh, you said it at minus three. Yeah, to your uh, cunning, which would be ten and below. My, so, my cunning is fifteen. Oh, so twelve and below, you avoid this. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And I rolled six. Yes, I avoid that. Okay, so again, uh, dodging this crack of the whip, I uh, see uh, maybe too close a range, trying to hit you with this whip when you're this close to him. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's your round one with this uh, creature, Cabello. We're going to go back over to round three with uh, the good, the guardian and uh, Malleus and the uh, black cloak. Bonner, though, let's go to you quickly, sir, as you're helping Hulse to his feet. What's going on here? Yeah, I notice he screams out in pain a little bit as he's uh, kind of <laughs> either sprung or, 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 or perhaps fractured his leg. It seems. My poor leg, he cries out, and then that's when I draw attention to him, and then I kind of set him back down, and he's grasping, and then I'll put my hands on him and do a laid on hands, and I'm rolling a D6 nice. to find out how much he gets back. Do it. That's sweet. Yes. Not that much, because I'm harassed. He just gets back one. Okay. But it does provide some kind of relief. Okay. All right. Uh, he uh, thanks you. Uh, you can see the look of terror in his face. Uh, as yeah. uh, uh, he thanks you, but uh, in broke, uh, yeah. uh, no eye contact as he glances toward the fire that uh, that uh, is clearly now coming through the avenue down the street as it is uh, what? approaching. Uh, what of the one who followed you and your two bodyguards? Remember the, the individual that was following him in the last uh, session while Bonner diverted? Uh, he uh, shakes his head uh, like he just heard you, like he's just processing yeah, what I'm you said. Looking, yeah, I'm looking up at the, the thing yeah. like, is he still uh, up there? Uh, he, and he says, mm-hmm. I, I know of no one who is following me. Someone was following me. He he clearly, from the look on his face, uh, that's just news to him. He did not know he was being followed. Oh, well, I, yeah, well, I mean, he was, he was more or less leading the individual before, but uh, maybe or at least supposed to me. maybe you know it, he may not know he was it. leading anybody <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, okay so I, I look at him curiously or whatever and then you know in a double look up there so all is fine it, no one it, it's just you uh yeah lives. he looks around sees his dead uh, bodyguards uh indeed and he and he grabs about for his parcel uh, pulls it mm-hmm. up and says, "At least I still have all of my uh, my, all of my deliveries. I must I must get to Yindaros." Mm-hmm. Uh, and he starts looking around my shoulder and start helping him lift up or whatever like that. Okay, we must find the quickest exit out of the city. You know, uh, you know a way. Yeah, let's make, make awesome. Let's make a persuasion check. Uh, no, yeah. let's let's uh, let's make a uh, resolve check for you to see if uh, you you strike gotcha. in him a memory. Gotcha. Straight, no modifier, just straight resolve. No. No, uh, uh, he looks at you and says, I only know the main thoroughfare. We must head to the south gate uh, as you limp along. Uh, and again, he, he might require some aid, uh, maybe not uh, a lot, but uh, you can help him or you could just be by his side. Uh, and yeah. we'll go over to our grudge. Our guard, our grudge. See, a grudge guardian, man. I will forever be scarred. Thank you, Todd. Uh, every guardian now in my nightmares is a grudge guardian, right? We'll go over to the guardian and uh, very That's effective funny. GMing there, Todd. Very effective. Ha- haunted us for session after session with these damn grudge guardian. Uh, the guardian now, uh, Dell, make a roll as uh, if it's going to continue yeah. to attack this, uh, this black. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, yeah, 11. Okay. So, uh, D six. Yeah, damage. Two. Two. Okay. Uh, he uh, def- definitely, uh, out of the corner of his eye, ducks this flail, um, mm. and no uh, no damage uh, appears to uh, be inflicted as he very deftly dodges this flail. Um, okay. Represented by armor soak. So, so you know you oh, did no, hit. I get it. Oh, I, I know. Okay. I just, just didn't, I didn't want you to right. be confused that, yeah, you did hit, but it's armor so right. 
<laughs> you know, I just got to make sure everybody this knows I'm not cheating them. <laughs> All right, Malleus, finally, Malleus, you're on your feet, sword in hand. And this, this <laughs> despite this guardian striking him and swinging on him, he is focused on you, Malleus. Okay. All right. Uh, Malleus will, uh, with his uh, soiled uh, sleeve, wipe the sweat and the grime uh, out of his eyes. And uh, he'll snarl at this uh, this black uh, black cloak. Uh, I'll say uh, you've got one chance to turn tail and run, or the uh, the the you'll also feel the heat of my blade along with the heat from these flames. All right. What say you? Let's make a uh, persuasion check. Uh, right. With a unfortunately with a minus five, his resolute is yeah. stout. Minus five from he's on persuasion. fire, huh? Right. Okay, all right, that ain't gonna it ain't gonna work. Uh, <laughs> I don't think. Let me see. Um, uh, no, okay, I don't have anything I can uh, trick that out with that I see. So okay, uh, so minus five. Uh ah oh, by one point no nope, oh, failed. Oh, uh, yeah, he uh oh. he hears you. Um mm -hmm. and uh you know you see now you realize that he is covered in black soot from the flames and uh uh you might even start noticing all of you that you're breathing in this poisonous corrupt uh smoke from the burning. And uh you see the sweat cu cutting cutting lines down his face of the you know through the black soot and he smiles and he see his bright white teeth uh kind of bright white they look bright white against the soot that is now matted to his sweaty head sweaty face you see him crack a uh, smile as if uh yeah that ain't gonna work uh oh. but you still have a, a you still have an attack uh malleus oh okay all right okay all right so uh once uh malleus sees that uh is uh threat basically was uh was ineffective he'll uh tighten his jaw and uh move in okay um attack so uh this is uh, a defense of minus let's see here his defense is actually plus one to your attack okay all right uh so let's see that would be my accurate correct? yes correct Okay, plus one. So that means I get a plus one. So that's a sixteen or lower. Wow, nice. And I get two attacks here. Oh, with my twin nice. Ability. So uh, let's see. Anything else to do with that? Two attacks, same target. Defend separately, and I get a plus one for my defense when I've that, got that going. On. Okay, so so that's one thirteen and one ten. So that's two hits. Nice. And oh. at at uh ad what is it novice adept is it and then master i think yes those are the three levels okay so yep. at adept skill level i do a d8 damage for each of those nice so let's see if i can skewer him so that i can run for the hills hopefully mm -hmm. hopefully <laughs> let's see how i do here and that's nine damage total. Well, four and four and five. That four and five. So second. that would be uh, nine minus. Okay. Uh, so describe to me how you. Uh, While well, he smiles, cracks the smile, uh, shaking his head. That uh, I will not go away. Describe how you dispatch uh, this champion oh, okay. of Prios. Was this the uh, head one that was passing yes, out? Yes. This is this is the oh, big okay. guy. This is right. the champion. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, so uh, once Malleus kind of clenches uh, his jaw and determination and uh, moves in, uh, he kind of faint, faints to the left and to the right. And uh, he notices, uh, as you described, that uh, this uh, black cloak leader uh, had uh, grime and sweat uh, uh, on his uh, forehead and his face and everything. And Malleus, Malleus noticed that his left eye was kind of like partially uh, like twitching because of the soot and the sweat <laughs> dripping into that eye. So he took advantage of that. Yeah, so he took advantage of that, did a faint to the left, and then moved to the right and came in for the kill with a double thrust. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't uh, even yeah. know it, right? He doesn't know yet he's dead. Well, he's still smiling. He doesn't <laughs> know he's yet dead, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and then it really so, uh, dawns uh, on yeah, him. Uh, oh, I'm dead. 
Yeah, so when he does the, the, the twin thrust and moves in and does the double twist, he uh, kind of whispers to the guy, he says, uh, he says, tell hell uh, I'm not coming there yet, but <laughs> nice. you can let them know for me. <laughs> you hear so, uh, his sword uh, uh, as it hits the, the, uh, the cobblestones, uh, and he just kind of hangs uh, there until you uh, withdraw your uh, resistance. Okay, all right. And okay. then he'll just sink to his knees and face down. Uh, how long does this guardian manifest itself, Bonner? That's one thing that I can't recall. I would wouldn't thank no more than a few rounds. I don't have the the book up. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Let's that. just make a uh, let's just make a uh, d uh, a d eight roll, and we'll just subtract the three rounds we've had from that. and See if he's still with us. Hmm. Okay, we'll six. Okay, so uh, uh, the guardian seeing uh, Malleus safe, uh, uh, you see suddenly. Uh, he 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 dwindles and uh, vanishes. Right? Oh no, you said six. Yeah. I'm sorry, you rolled a six. Well, well, I mean, actually, he was probably standing there for three hours before the combat. Oh, that's lit right, because you, you know did. I mean? He did lead you to the buildings. That's right. Okay, so he yeah, dwindles. We had uh, and ironically, you would have thought uh, that then there would cease to be the light, but the fire that you're all now hear crackling, and you can feel the heat. Uh, and you can hear the pops and explosions of the wood under the under the heat. Um, it, you're all lit by the fire uh, that is that is now uh, uh, descending upon all of you. Uh, Malleus, make a, uh, a discreet check. I mean, a uh, vigilant check for me with a uh, okay. uh, with a plus five vigilant check, and you oh, as well, Bonner. Okay, so I need fifteen and under, and I yep. roll an eight. So, yes. Okay. Uh, and you uh, you see now backlit C- uh, Cabello uh, oh. in a uh, mano a mano with this flagellant uh, oh, backlit, okay. and right. uh, you can see the flames now maybe within thirty feet of Cabello, and uh, you're all I'm mean, you're feeling it. You're all sweating profusely. It's the sky is lit now with nothing but flames. Um, mm. All you can hear is the crackle. Of and explosions of wood and uh, flame, but you can see oh. backlit Cabello locked in a, a, a combat with this flagellant. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Bonner, did you make the roll? Yeah, I, I made it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you see it as well as you watch your guardian kind of dissipate. Uh, you see now there, uh, uh, probably twenty feet from you, you see Cabello locked in a, a combat. Okay. So before we go to Cabello's next round. You guys would have an opportunity to move or take action. Uh, wasn't there a third? Uh, no, he's uh, he's wallowing on the ground with a pretty good wound, uh, and he was trampled oh, badly by the oh, uh, by okay. the crowd. Remember? So no. Uh, yeah, as you look about, you work. see him. You see him laid out dead. Um, okay. From the uh, trampling, most likely, and or the wound, okay. the leg wound. Okay. Uh, I- I'll make my way there to aid uh, Cabello. Okay, uh, and he, uh, you will go, uh, Cabela will go again before you, and I, uh, Bonner, you see Malleus flash across in a couple of steps to dive into this melee, uh, Hulse completely ignoring everything around him, he's, he's almost <laughs> at a, he's like dragging his left foot, but he's, he's at a trot well, dragging he, that left foot. Yeah, I'm still, foot. he's still propped up on me, so, I, you know, I get to that intersection and look down at the, where we're supposed to go. Uh, this way, right? Holtz, and then I, I look back at the others and see uh, Emilius, and then wave them on. Uh, come, it, come with us, you know, I'll say. And yeah. I'm turning, I'm, I'm starting to walk in that direction uh, with Holtz. Your cunning, Dell, might need to, you might need to make a cunning check here, my friend. That, uh, gotcha. Uh, you're what, 17 Priest of Prios. Uh, you may or may not. Uh, you tell me, have you ever paid attention to the, or the world about you in the town of Thistlehall? Um, Bonner was Thoraya's, uh young ward. Right. So uh, he wouldn't have been like really. Okay, so, so yeah. you're going to have to make this cunning yeah. check at minus uh, three. Yeah, that's fine. The six or less. Oh, interesting. Okay, I got a one. Boom. Ooh, oh. uh, it hits you. Oh. That that in a normal day, in a normal way, 
you're 30 minutes from the exit of this city. It hits you that at this pace, where you stand in the plaza, there's no way you'll outrun this fire if you don't. Oh. If you don't oh, move as yeah. fast as possible. Yeah, and even then, you'll probably be, uh, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, it's there's no way you'll outrun it if you don't. Horse, any kind of carts, any kind of like the queen. You know what I mean? I, I'd actually be. I was thinking following her in her wake, but. Uh, that only justifies the fact that I'm I'm turning with Holtz, so like, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. And I yell to them, and then I turn and don't waste anything. You know, when I turn and have that dawn on me, right. and look at what's happening with that wall of heat and everything, yeah. and the blackness rolling in. Right. Uh, you know, I mean, you might calculate that because the Antiques Plaza is a hole, that you know that might buy you some time, as that fire is going to have to work around the plaza, right? So you know that that gaping hole will buy you some time uh, because the fire can't easily jump. Yeah, can't jump, gap. right? Mm. Um, um, yeah, but with a one, you know, fly you would, pools is, is what I'm right. in my mind. You know what uh, I mean? So, and with a one, uh, you might spy some of the goblins out, uh, still trying to light. They're it's so stupid they don't realize that, that the fire is going to do its job without them. You'll see some Queen's right. Army uh, still with a bucket, uh, they, a bucket line trying to douse uh, flames, most likely lit by the goblins. So again, futile. Um, yeah, yeah, they're, they're canceling each other out. Right. The flames going to roll. Right. In. Okay. So, yeah, it, it still stands. Fly fools. Let's okay. go now. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, do you say that out loud? I mean, Oh yeah, yeah. I'm telling them to, to come. Okay. Now we okay. must leave. All right. You know, so, I got so uh, uh, right. All right, Malleus and Cabello. Maybe you are acutely aware of the mm -hmm. uh, impending uh, speed of this uh, inferno. Uh huh. Yeah. He might be good. Okay. So Cabello, okay. you right. would go. You would go first in this melee with this flagellant. Okay. Yep. All right. Um. So the, the crowd has dispersed somewhat. There is no... You are it. A few goblins oh, still fighting with Queen's Army that are... Uh -huh. uh, they're all, in a way, almost oblivious to the danger. Uh, there's a few Queen's Army still here with a bucket trying to put out <laughs> fires. But but the mass of people, the throng of people, right. are pretty much emptied out of the plaza south. Right. So I got me and the slides went with... And his, Malleus uh, behind him. Malleus has come up behind him. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll make sure I make a... a and he's, he's unaware of Malleus? Correct. Okay, so I'll make sure I make a big, noisy presentation. Nice. All right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, m make sure it's, uh, it, it's big and loud, and, and I and I <laughs> come at him with my daggers, okay? Okay, awesome. Uh with flourish, completely with lots of engaging him in you, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Lots of flourish. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Make that check again. Uh, okay. He is a now. You don't have the uh, bonus of throwing the crossbow at him, but you no. will buy a Malleus a bonus as you are making this an all-encompassing, mm. uh, you know, threat. Mm -hmm. So okay. Uh, again, his defense is. Uh, let's see where I'm at here. His defense is plus five. So again, you should have a pretty easy accuracy. Uh, and roll okay, so I'm making an accuracy check, and I made it. Yes. Okay. And damage. Nice. Damage is. Oh, geez. Two. Uh, how much? I'm sorry. I I, I did two. Just, just okay. Two. Uh, so nope. Malleus, yeah. uh, you see, uh, Cabello locked in this uh, tight melee, and uh, he definitely, although consumed with Cabello's crazy uh, attacks. He has no choice but to fend these off best he can. Oh, yeah. uh, so unfortunately, he doesn't seem to cause any damage, but the flagellant is utterly engaged with Cabello. Okay. okay. And that will buy you a All plus right. two attack uh, on him from behind. Okay. All right. I uh, will show him no uh, mercy. We, okay. we don't have time. Yep. Nope. So uh, I will come up from behind and uh, uh, engage him. On the back end, you said plus two. Yep. So, uh, first roll is a 13, is a hit. Second yep. roll is a uh, 12, so that's a hit. Okay, damage. Uh, nice. So, damage uh, is a 
Oh, uh, six and a two. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, you drive your weapons in. Uh, you feel them penetrate. Uh, he winces, screaming out uh, loud, aware now that he has been attacked from behind, but he is not out of this combat. Uh, mm -hmm. Cabello, you mm -hmm. see in his face that your friend has has uh, struck Pater, so to speak, right. Uh, uh, right. from behind. And it is indeed his turn. And again, Cabello, he will uh, – uh, let's see here. I think I think, um, I think, think the flagellant at this stage might turn his attention to the uh, pain in his back and turn to face Malleus swinging wildly. So he's just going to turn and swing at you, Malleus, wildly. Ooh, he okay. has a um, accuracy. Uh, so you use your defense against his accuracy. He has a minus three. So whatever your okay. defense is, subtract three from it. Make a roll for me as he swings with right. his sword wildly behind it. Okay. So, yeah, he, he flails out with his attack and kind of catches Malleus off guard because he Ooh. figured he had him okay. where he wanted him. Okay. Oh, and I did it. Nine. Did it. Nice. Uh, so ah. this uh, – so uh, glancing uh, – uh, uh, block maybe quickly, deftly ducking. I'm not certain how, but you dodge this – this uh, sword uh, swing, and he is now, in a way, straddling uh, between both of you. So he, he's got a, his uh, right arm with a whip, his uh, left arm, or, you know, his, his uh, right arm with a sword, his left arm with a whip, and he's kind of between the two of you. Uh, right. Cabello, you feel now the heat and the crackling uh, mm. as it is uh, it is close on you. And I need everyone to make uh, the uh, actually actually what I need, Dell, is for you to make a D6 roll for me, sir. Or one of you. I don't care who makes it, but a D6 roll. Four. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead, Dell. We need to make a strength check. Malleus, a strength check. Uh, oh, boy. Cabello, a uh, quickness check. Eight. Ah, fail. 17. Okay. Got it. Got an eight. Yep. Nice. So, nice. Cabello, you stand. Uh, got an 18. You got an 18? Eight. Okay. As well. Too, uh, also. And let's go ahead, Dell, real quick. Make a roll for Hulse, and uh, if you would, David, make a roll for this uh, this uh, fla flagellant. Aha, eighteen. Take that. Okay. So <laughs> again, the the ground heaves. This time, it lifts and splits, uh, sending uh, uh, Cabello. Man. You're off, like you topple off the edge where the ground mm. is lifted and split and stays like a like a crack in the earth. Right. And and uh, you, uh, Amalius, topple off that along with the flagellant. Both of you fall off that away from the flames. Cabello, mm -hmm. you uh, you kind of uh, uh, go up with it, ride it up on this side, yeah. and mm -hmm. you can definitely kind of two steps off and drop down uh, on the street below where it's uplifted. So you were uh, – Cabello, when it uplifted, you were on it when it uplifted, and they were like yeah. toppled off onto their right. beds. Uh, Bonner, the ground again, shaking and rifting. Uh, you uh, you straddle that pretty well as you're moving quickly with Hulse. Oh, what did Hulse do? Three. Okay, and Hulse, uh, despite the injury to his leg, kind of kind of uses the momentum of, of this uh, almost rippling earth. It, it, mm. it kind of ripples you uh, a couple of strides north. faster than north yeah. south. Okay. Um. A, 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 almost a. Sonic, I mean, a horrendous uh, crash of noise. Uh, Cabello, this, uh, all of you hear it as it is this earth rendering crack uh, and roar. And uh, you can't see, but you can feel it as uh, you can see the smoke uh, almost as something rises from the ground. The smoke oh. billows away briefly. And the flames, this this fire is so extreme, but it actually flutters this epic fire. Uh, uh, so Cabello, you can like feel the heat and the fire in your back, but for a moment, it's like it's like it's like the it almost put out the fire, and you hear the roar as uh, uh, as buildings lift off uh, into the darkness. You hear cracks and roars, and uh, something has breached the earth mm. on a scale of maybe a three-story building. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, uh, Bonner, I, I don't know dumb. if you're seeing it. You're hearing it. You you maybe notice the, the light go out in the darkness for a brief flutter 
as you guys are headed south, I'm sure you're, I don't know if you're looking back. You would have to tell me if you're looking back. Uh, Malleus, you're uh, in the darkness. Uh, both of you rolling around the ground. Malleus, you would see the 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 the, the black smoke uh, kind of kind of blow away for a second, and the fire kind of flutter. Uh, and we're talking about you know a major city fire almost flickers out under the oh, under the you, power man. of this uh, emerging thing. Mm-hmm. I think that that. No, uh, Bonner is more so expedient uh, and not looking back for fear of what he might see. Okay. So he's, he's almost clasping okay. in fear. Let's well, he, he don't a, want to admit it. To himself, let's make a, a resolute check for Hulse to see if he has got the same discipline you have, sir. Uh, at okay. minus five with this earth rending sound, almost like a sonic boom. Is it? He rolled it. He rolled it. He in. Uh, ten. So with my, uh, yeah, with minus well. five. Okay. Uh, Hull stops dead, and uh, he can't stop himself from turning and looking. Uh, right. and uh, uh, you can you you really don't know his response as you're running away, right? You're running away from him, but you notice he he's well, not I, with I, you. I, he's he's leaning up. Oh, that's right. Me. All right. You no. Know, so you so might feel him probably, resist to stop and look, right? Yeah, I, I think I, I would at this time. Turning around to tell him we must go, and okay. I, I'll catch sight of what. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, you can I see the horror on his face, uh, and he mumbles, yeah. "But it, but it can't be. It is, it is, it is, but a myth." And you can actually see his, uh, like his eyes, well with tears, uh, at mm-hmm. what he's witnessed. And like I said, I'll, I'll draw my eyes too as I'm seeing him, you know, in shock. Okay. Uh, to what what he's witnessing okay you know um all right malleus so uh as as you uh are getting up along with this uh flagellant uh mm-hmm. you you now realize uh the flames are less uh there are burning buildings but many of the buildings are gone they've literally been ripped from the earth tossed okay. into the air and have come down somewhere within the vicinity of uh, of the area, uh, you realize uh-huh. now the uh, there is some towering, writhing beast, uh, <laughs> three geez. stories high uh, above much of this will hold. You can't yeah. tell how wide or how large, uh-huh. but it has uh-huh. it has sundered much of the city uh, from the earth. Right, uh, oh. Cabello, Cabello, your back is to all of this, even though you've stepped off the. Uh, the, the breach of the earth uh, there, the crack in the earth. Uh, it's not close to you. I mean, it's – it's you would estimate this creature, uh, uh, Malleus, would be really uh, so big that it must mm-hmm. have erupted from the earth in the fire break between the Davakar and Thistlehold. That's how huge this is. Oh, and wow. So it only okay. tore off the north – like the whole north half of the city uh, decimated by this eruption of this creature from the uh, from the earth. Uh, okay. That's that's how far it is from you. That's why the Earth only split around you here, versus pitching you, you know, thousands of feet into the air. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, um, I, 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 is Cabela? Or is he there? Or you know, are we? I, I am. I'm. The, I can feel the heat behind me, and uh, I am just booking it. Uh, away from it as quickly as I can. Okay. Uh, um, so likewise. forget You're this running like hell I gotta, I gotta. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so Malish, you see Cabello uh, step off this as you're getting up. He steps off this deftly and just sprints south. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Into, I, into I the will, into the darkness of smoke. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, the, I'm assuming that Bonner is uh, on his way as well. I hope so. Yeah, you guys might actually pass them as he's dragging Hulk. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. no. Okay. Uh, let's yeah. make quickness checks for everybody here. Uh, fortunately, though, again, the the heat, Cabello, on your back, not as bad. The flames not lighting the the the, the area in front of you as much as they were. So much of the mm-hmm. fire may have been ripped free uh, with these buildings that were torn from the earth. Right. 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 Okay, for this check. You said yes, for everybody. Uh, this is with minus uh, minus three. 
Did you get it, Bonner? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the uh, uh, the flagellant. Uh, let's make a uh, for me. Somebody make a cunning check for the flagellant. Actually, we need to make a resolute check for the flagellant. Uh, first at minus five. Here, I'll, I'll do it. Am I uh, am I able to dis even disengage with this guy? Yeah, he's or not. He... He's looking at the creature. So we're making a resolute okay. check for him. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, I rolled twelve. Okay, uh, he stands uh, uh, in shock, um, drops his whip and his sword, and just stands there like Hulse. Can't believe what he's what he's seeing. Uh, uh, David, of course, would have to make one of these, except it's obscured by the smoke, etc. Uh, David, anyone who sees it will have to make a resolution check. But fortunately, none of you have really seen it yet, <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, oh, am I good for now or no? You're good for now because you've oh, only now, okay. seen the mass of it. You haven't really oh, just seen the, just the ma- Okay, I didn't. Right, you yeah. just knew that it was, uh, you know, uh, a mile or so away. It's ripped much of the city when it erupted from the earth, and you know it's big, but you haven't really, you couldn't see it obscured by all the smoke that's filled the sky over the last couple of hours. Right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but you've all made your quickness checks, so you're making way through town, and, and, and as you do, you're stepping over bodies, and uh, you actually get uh, within uh, 100 yards of the gate. Uh, the gate uh, is uh, sadly partially um, closed with a mound of, of bodies, uh, both goblins oh. and civilians, where the goblins tried, obviously, to cut them off, not let them escape. Where the goblins uh, waylaid, so the the actual gate is is stuck with a pile of unfortunately mm-hmm. bodies, both both Ambrian and, and goblin. Uh, you see, uh, before that, uh, within just uh, to your left, about twenty feet before you get there, you see the carriage overturned, uh, six dead horses. You see the Baron's body uh, outside the carriage, where he's been drugged out of the out of the carriage and, and murdered. Uh, as uh, as they fell to escape uh, Thistlehold, uh, but you are slowly as you run through this decimation. You know, I mean, you're you're slowly getting to the gate. Uh, you will have to climb over the heaps of dead uh-huh. to, to get <laughs> through the gate and out of Thistlehold. Uh, what do you mean you don't do horror? This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is devastation. Um, you feel it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You feel it, but you do not see it, and you hear it a uh, roar, and uh, you hear you hear, and I'm gonna, you're all going to unfortunately have to make defense checks as uh, it hits the. You hear the roar, uh, and it hits the ground behind you. This. Giant beast as it uh, as it drops its head, uh, basically biting uh, uh, a huge swath of the earth out from behind you. So everybody, make a defense wow. check for me. Okay. Uh, at a uh, plus three, so it's uh it's not trying to hit you so much as you may be affected by its wake of damage. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm using well, cunning for defense. I'm using cunning for defense. Correct. That's right. 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 Yep. yep. Okay. So I. Ah. Uh, what was it? 20. Uh, what was the modifier? Plus three to your defense. Oh, plus three. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Fifteen. No. Eleven. No. Okay. So there you go. All right. How about Cabello? You're good. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. I rolled okay. roll twenty. Roll 20. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what about you, Bonner and Hulse? Bonner roll. Uh, Hulse is 17. Okay. Uh, so this massive, uh, again, you can't, you haven't seen it, but you can, you heard it roar and you, you can feel it hit the ground behind you as it bites out a huge chunk of the earth behind you. Uh, knocking you, Cabello, uh, you can feel the, the wrecking of this uh, sundering of earth behind you. Uh, and it's going to push you forward, and you're going to take 13 points Ooh. of damage, but you get an armor soak here. Right. Okay, so 1d4. Okay. Okay. 
So where is roll with that? it? Roll with it. Oh, <laughs> one. Oh, uh, oh. that I I don't know what your toughness is. That may end you. Oh. Okay, end. so uh, Cabello, the you you feel something earth. Uh, something strikes you, uh, and then it's darkness. Uh, mm. maybe not even pain because you're you're so. Uh, it, it, you know, it knocks you unconscious almost instantly. So luckily for you, maybe no pain, but all you can remember is darkness. Uh, you're not dead. Remember we have death rolls in some right. room, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. you are, uh, you are, and, uh, you know, it hits so hard. Uh, and, uh, Adele Hulse is, is hit by something, a probably large swath of earth, uh, a large, uh, boulder, something yeah. as the earth is sundered. And spews rock. Uh, you can feel it. All of you feel the dirt and the cobblestones as they rain down and they hit you in the back. But Hulse, unfortunately, uh, we need to roll uh, armor soak for Hulse. One d four, sir. Four. Oh, 13 minus four is eight. Yeah. So that uh, you, as you're dragging Hulse along, uh, you see one of these cobblestones rip his head. From his shoulders, oh, uh, just obliterates geez. his skull as you're dragging now his <laughs> lifeless body. You feel the pelting. Uh, it's almost like a shock wave of earth, right? As oh, this, as this creature, and then you all can feel as you still climbing now at this point, climbing over the bodies of the dead. Uh, do do uh, Malleus? You see Cabello kind of launched. Uh, limp forward and stumbles into the pile of bodies he's he almost like lands and the gate at the at the base of this uh mound of bodies in the, okay. in the doorway I've, I've got to stop and uh uh climb down and try to uh try to grab him okay you can do that him. now uh can you resist looking back at this creature that's the question i don't know can i <laughs> uh you want to make a resolution check oh my gosh at minus, uh, at, uh, oh my gosh! Uh, so I'm sorry, not I, resolution. This yeah, is yeah. a this is oh, a vigilant okay. check at minus five for you. Oh my gosh! That's still brutal. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I would uh, I would try to grab him. So yeah. Oh, you so, can grab him. So that's not a problem. But my eyes. But, but can you not eyes, go? Right? What the hell that's, is this? Right. That's a that's a five or lower guy. That's okay. What I need. So, the so bomber feels that down, right, he reaches down and and uh and uh uh lifts uh Cabello, you know, by by his armpits and kind of wrenches him up. Yep. And his head goes up and <laughs> oh. two, 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 I did it. <laughs> nice. Uh so you managed yeah. to close your eyes as you pulling Cabello up. Uh, is that what you're telling me? You did not look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you can feel it. Uh, you actually feel the rumble of the earth. Uh, but because you won't open your eyes, you, you don't know what's causing the earth, the rumble. You can feel the bodies you're sitting on as you're pulling him up over the bodies. Uh, you can feel those bodies moving down as you're like sliding down as it's vibrating everything. Bonner, wow. did you make your check to not look back? I can't no, hear you, Adele. I'm sorry. No. You're fine. I think you are. I just didn't hear you. Oh, did you hear me? Yeah, barely. Okay. No, I, I, f I failed the uh, the uh, check, the defensive oh. check. Okay. Uh, so, oh. Oh. are you halfway up this pile of bodies, uh, or or did you stop when the uh, when the Hulse's head was obliterated from his? I mean, what did you do? If his head was taken off, he's gonna. Cartwheel and out of my arms, you know what I mean. Yeah. I wouldn't do like this, you know, but I'm I felt it too, so I'm getting okay. hit with the same. Uh, oh, know, you took damage. Hard. Yes, that's what oh, I'm saying. Oh my god, I didn't notice. I thought you did. Oh, so what did your soak? What was your soak? Okay. Um. Jeez. Oh, uh, soak is. I just got a blessed robe. Was it soak one d four? That's one d four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh jeez, but I'm yeah. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Come on, just okay. roll four. Three, three. Okay, so that's gonna um, be that's gonna be ten points of damage. I don't know how much oh. you'd already suffered. 
Oh, yeah, but remember, I broke his fall for oh, four and I had right. twelve, so that so, brought me down uh, to eight. So yeah, you were um, you were aware long enough uh, to see Hulse's head obliterated, uh, yeah. and then uh, pelting of the earth, and uh, then uh, struck hard enough by uh, rocks, debris, uh, and and Melis, you might see uh, Bonner launched, uh, kind of toppling over these bodies onto the other side, outside the city, outside uh, the gates. But uh, Bonner appears, if not dead, he is in a uh -huh. similar situation as Cabello, unconscious. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. I, I'm struggling. My footing is bad because uh, the I'm earth trying vibrating. to uh, look yep. over my shoulder. Yeah, the earth's vibrating. The I'm climbing over bodies. For sake, trying to drag Cabello. Uh, and I, I'll, you know, I'll continue to try to try to make it up and fighting, trying to stay ahead of the flames. Yeah, the, fortunately, the flames yeah. are out. This this creature out now has because, quite literally okay. destroyed uh, so much earth and, and, and then sundered with that uh, uh, second uh, move, sundered oh. so much of what was left of Thistle Hole that it's buried under rubble and dirt and it's it's doused much Eight. of the flame. So the irony is you're almost – it's almost all that's left is, is maybe – 200 feet in each direction of, of the Palisade wall, right? Ah, it's almost like you're yeah. sitting at the uh, the body at the gates, but then everything else is gone. It's like this 200 feet in each direction of a 30-foot Palisade wall and a gate with a heap of bodies and not much of the earth left. However, you haven't looked, but you can feel the earth rumble. Eventually, the earth, this rumbling subsides, this kind of constant rumble, uh, but you can feel the earth Ben like directly beneath you rumble as if as if something has gone underneath the earth underneath you. Oh, boy. Oh, All right. No. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, Cabello uh, and Bonner and Cabello have one turn here to make their death roll. And then uh, Malleus, you would have a turn to administer some kind <sighs> of aid to either one of them before a second death roll. If you want to take time to do it now, Malleus. Well, well, I figure since I've got Cabello in my arms right now, right. I'll do him first, and then I'll try to make my way over towards Bonner, and okay. then depending upon what now, the situation uh, is, I'll try to... We will have to still make at least one death roll for Cabello yeah, for that yeah, yeah. turn, and also okay. Dale will have to make uh, a death okay. roll, and i got to find the chart in the book. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to why, uh, uh, D20, I why... um, but i got to yeah. find the little chart for the death roll. Okay. Uh, where is yeah. that chart? I can't remember how to administer aid of any sort. Um, well, in this situation, you would just stabilize them. You don't necessarily have to heal them. Oh, okay. I believe. Uh, okay. Um, this would be stabilizing them from from dying, I think. But I, there may be a role. I'll double check. I mean, it's been a while, guys. None of us have done even done this in months. Uh, okay, so make a a one d twenty roll for me, uh, Cavello. Just straight one d twenty. All you want to roll is the number. That's all I want. Twenty. <laughs> 20. The character <laughs> dies. Oh! <laughs> I have rolled more 20s tonight yeah. than I have. Yeah. I've been rolling uh, 15, 15, 15. And in this, oh and in this game, you don't want to roll high. Uh, no, so, David, no, no. as you start to uh, you pull oh, no. Cabello over the heap of bodies, you can feel the rumble deep in the earth beneath you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. things somewhat calmed. Uh, the, 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 the heat and the, the snapping and crackling of fire seems to have desisted as, again, you may still have your eyes to some degree averted to Cabello, uh, but uh, still much smoke in the atmosphere. Uh, you realize when you get uh, uh, down from the heap of bodies and drag Cabello where you can uh, tend him, unfortunately, he was, he, he was killed or died at some point uh, uh, during this uh, event. Um, Brutal, right? Uh, it uh, says here you, the character might get last uh, last words, but I I think uh, we've already defined him as being knocked uh, unconscious, like immediately. Yes. Yes. Already. Okay. yes, yes. So uh, now uh, okay. uh, you uh, crawl over to Bonner. Uh, Bonner's uh, well, left by. I will uh, perhaps I will uh, I will uh, briefly uh, reach into Cabello's uh, what would you call it? sash. And uh, Todd, would he have some kind of like item or memento or something he might have acquired? Didn't he have like some little trinket or something that he was hanging he on to? The character feature. I can't remember. Uh, yes, he does. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He has a little stone treasure box. Okay, all right. And all inside right. that is a what we described as a doll or some voodoo ball doll. Yeah, it's an old okay. sim it's an old Simbra uh doll. Okay. Right? The old the old <laughs> civilization of, of Simbra mm -hmm. Simbra, the Simbra mm -hmm. people. Yeah. yeah. All right. And it's got so, gold pins right. in it. Yeah. Correct. Okay. All right. So so maybe what he'll what what he'll do is he'll uh take a couple of the gold pins. Instead of the whole doll, and he'll he'll take that as a memento of uh, his memory of uh, of Cabello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brave okay. Cabello. Okay. Okay. All right, and then uh, he'll stumble his way over to uh, to Bonner. All right, uh, Bonner, give us a death well. test to see what condition you're in when uh, Malleus arrives. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait, you roll three. 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 Uh, your character remains at death's threshold, so uh, mm. which means you would keep making these rolls until you either wake up or die. Uh, but <laughs> but Malleus is able to uh, stabilize you, uh, uh, Bonner. Oh, okay. Um, I won't allow you to heal him, but I will allow you to just stabilize him, right? Uh, it's going to take okay. more time to heal him unless you have yeah. a special ability here, right? No, no. Medicus ability all. will heal. Uh, mystical powers can heal. Uh, Alch alchemy uh. can heal. And then there's natural no, no. healing for uh, for a day, but you can stabilize, yeah. it, right? Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I, I probably looked dead when you got to me since uh, since Holson's head was ripped right. from his He's body. He's covered in right. Holson's right. blood. Uh, blood. Right. right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, you feel again the earth rumble, uh, uh, Cabello, and uh, uh, passing back north, um, and then you feel a. a, a, a you know, a mile or so away from you, within uh, within just a few moments, you you hear the crack of the earth again, and uh, 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 this creature uh, drive itself high into the into the air. Uh, oh, wow. Again, if you want to ignore it, or you want to fight looking at it, or you tell me. <laughs> uh, I don't know honestly how. Uh... <laughs> How I could avoid uh, looking at it, you know, as it launches itself into. I mean, the... you can hear, you can feel that it's it. It feels a mile away or something. I mean, it's it's not. Close. Oh, okay, right. Okay, uh, however, yeah, I, I'd look. Of course, uh, yeah, I'd look. Of course, I'd and uh, to see it. obscured again by lots of smoke in the atmosphere from uh, thistlehold burning for hours, but you can mm -hmm. see. Uh, uh, you can see close to. Three stories high, thirty feet into the air. Uh, its width, its diameter, it is, uh, and its head, uh, like a giant serpent. You uh, with a, uh, a maw of teeth uh, doesn't appear to have eyes as it as it as it reaches itself up out of the ground, roars, and then it arches itself over uh, and dives down again, destroying what little of thistlehold may be left what? as it yeah. swallows it and it and it burrows itself like a giant worm, etc. And you can feel, uh -huh. even a mile away, the vibration again of the earth as its scales oh, rattle the earth. And, and you can watch the ground. You can see the earth kind of ripple. As it drives it and itself back into the earth, and again rumble a little rumble, uh, not uh -huh. in your direction this time. Uh, uh -huh. It is. Uh, let's make first a resolute check. Resolute uh, minus check. five. Okay, I need a three and under. Ooh. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's going to be one d four corruption. As, as you Ooh. stand in horror, you, you, you witness in horror uh, what you've only That's... heard the myths of, uh, the, 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 the world serpent, um, oh, okay. which you've heard story of and myth of your whole life, but it never, no one's ever seen one. No one's ever uh, in here, uh, the world serpent uh, devouring thistlehold right before your eyes. Um, so one die four. Corruption. That's three. Three corruption. 
Okay, so add that uh, to your uh, character as you uh, as it as it uh, adversely affects your uh, entire psyche, right? Just not only witness it, uh, but but it is myth come to life, right? Of all the horrors you've seen, nothing compares to this uh, large enough to swallow cities, right? This thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Malleus uh, uh, Cabello lay at your feet. Dead Bonner lay uh, breathing, but barely, barely. Uh, you watch this thing uh, disappear into the earth again. Um, five, ten minutes pass. Fifteen minutes pass. Thirty minutes pass. An hour passes, uh, and it does not reemerge. And there's been no rumble of the earth. Um, and, uh, as, as the ironic, ironically, as some of the smoke is dissipated, uh, in unison mm -hmm. with the sun, uh, uh, going down, you can just glimpse, uh, very little, uh, evidence that this will hold ever existed, <clears throat> but for the 200 feet of Palisade wall to your right, 200 feet of Palisade wall. To your left, uh, standing 30 feet, and the gate of the bodies, which you're at the foot of here on the south side, is all that's left of Thistlehold. Everything else is is a rubble of uh, of, of earth and stone, uh, debris of, of maybe buildings and uh, wood, uh, and it tore a gaping hole out of the Davakar on the fire break north of Thistlehold. So when it erupted, it tore out a, a pretty good-sized chunk of the bright Davakar there in, in the uh, directly Jeez. north of you uh, that you can yeah. see and just make out uh, as the sun goes down, uh, sitting, uh, maybe holding Bonner. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see uh, at the edge of the Dav bright Davakar to the north uh, east, which would be your right hand side as you're facing north, having just watched this and, and taking it all in, you can see at the edge of the bright Davakar uh, a slew of humanoids. Uh, you can't quite make out from this distance who <clears throat> stands at the, uh, at, the, at the forest edge watching this, but you can guess it's probably elves, the Iron Pact. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Have coming out of the forest to watch the decimation of Thistlehold um, oh. as it gets at dark. Uh, you sit here with Bonner. Uh, what would you like to do? Do we do we close session there? Do we do we do we draw yeah. curtains here? I think we draw curtains there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay. probably <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sweating. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, was. that was fun. Yeah, I had was, uh, was, yeah. I had a, a random seed chart. For this, uh, Dale will be mm -hmm. happy to uh, hear a two a, uh, <laughs> a two to twelve random seed chart. Uh -huh. uh, I had I was only going to ask for one roll. I asked that from Todd at the beginning of the session, and that was going to decide what would complicate the black coats and the fire, and that was the world <laughs> serpent. Is that when I rolled twenty? So you no, rolled the world serpent. Really? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my Amazing. Lord. Amazing. Here you go. Yeah. So there we go, and we got to it. We got to see oh the world serpent. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well done, yeah, though. yeah. You played that very well. Yeah. That was fun. That was great yeah, fun. Yeah. And uh, I, I was wondering, I man, who man, who <laughs> was trying to summon something or do something and it screwed the pooch on this. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell, tell you what, I loved about that because y'all didn't really realize what happened. I guess in that in like the third, fourth session or whatever. When you were in that thing, that's what they were drawing out. Correct. Yeah. The abyss mm -hmm. of the, yeah. So you didn't yeah. really experience or see it. So I loved it when it came back. Yeah. You well, know, I knew, Dell. I knew, I knew your ritual had basically conjured, not conjured, but had summoned to some degree the world serpent, or at least brought into our, our, our co campaign consciousness the world serpent. So I put it on this, this, this chart. Uh, now, I, I, it was a 2d12 range, you know, a d4 and a d8. So uh, there were multiple world serpents on this chart. So you were you had a oh. pretty, you had a pretty good chance to hit it. So it wasn't like you hit the only world serpent on the chart. Okay, just so you know, that makes sense, though. I that waited makes sense. it yeah. so we might see the world serpent during this uh, yeah. fire. That makes sense. 
So I'm glad it worked out that way because yeah. that was, as uh, Todd said, epic to say the least. Yeah, that was yes. fun. And uh, unfortunately, Cabello has died, but what a way to oh, go. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's yeah. Awesome. okay. I will roll up another one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah, I didn't know <laughs> how, uh, I didn't know how, again, uh, uh, I was timing the, uh, the uh, the earthquakes of the world serpent because when he rolled that first roll, I knew that the mm-hmm. world serpent was was going to show up, but it was going to show up Coming. with you know earth shakes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, and then the fire itself, I was just kind of kind of in my head tracking how fast this thing would be moving towards you at this point once it got out of control. Right. So uh, yeah, so roll you have to make as far as like from the seed chart. I didn't. I asked you guys to make one to start, and that was it. I only planned on oh, one. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, Everything gotcha, else, gotcha. Uh, I knew that I was going to time the uh, escape of the carriage, uh, mm-hmm. giving you guys a chance to hitch a ride or to, you know. Mm-hmm. So I knew that yeah. I was going to, so many turns in, the carriage would manifest itself in the streets with the army. Uh, well, there was chances the that you could there, be right? – uh, there were chances that you could be stampeded based on some failed rolls. Oh, wow. So I didn't use a chart. I used failed rolls. So if you guys failed a, a roll, yeah. that could trigger uh-huh. a stampede where you could be crushed by the mob. Uh, oh, you guys made God. all of your strong your checks in that uh, stampede rolls. There were two stampede rolls that the mob would crush you. Right? Uh, yeah. 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 So uh, so I only used the RCS to start. What would show up that I did not kind of know was going to be a dilemma for you guys, yeah. right? As opposed yeah. to rolling it regularly. I just wanted one that, that I didn't – Get the ball rolling. That I had – no, that I just didn't plan. And oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, – but I had I had the, the potential stampede of the mob. If you failed particular checks, you could suffer uh, being mobbed by this, you know, this, this panicked mob of thousands of people, that kind of thing. Right? <clears throat> so, yeah, it was fine. Wow. Uh, yeah. And then most of yeah. it just comes – you just kind of play it naturally based on what you guys were doing, and etc. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I trusted but the dice. We, that, that's the most I've asked you guys to roll dice in all of our San Room sessions. So I trusted all the dice checks as opposed to deciding. Yeah. I, I trusted dice checks to dictate what that meant to you guys, right? So mm-hmm. so I, I called – yeah. I have more dice checks in this one game than every San Room I've run, I think, total. Yeah, yeah. So did you feel like it was a lot of dice checks? No. Uh, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. No. Yeah, no. great. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. And it was funny because, if anything, the dice checks just increased the tension level for yeah. me. Yeah. You know, and I think that's part of why mechanics are so important because they do, right? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. There's, a, there's a chance yeah. to fail something, which, which oh, yeah. makes you nervous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, especially in this because we had a we had, yeah. we had an actual natural disaster. You know, we had the fire of this hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then of course the the rumbling of the earth affected whether you were. And I didn't know if you'd be in combat when the earthquakes would happen. I didn't know if you would yeah. be trying to climb buildings or run for the. Exit. I didn't know so, if you were going to get sucked into the uh, crevices or whatever. You know, that's right. what I was well, worried about. I hadn't yeah. thought of that. That's a great. That would be a great addition <laughs> to that type of uh, effect. Right. Right. I just, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah and I was yeah, inspired was today. I was flipping through the book. Before I did my RSC mm-hmm. chart, looking at creatures, and I thought, well, what makes sense? What would be here? What would be? And I knew the world serpent had been brought into consciousness by Dell. And then I saw the picture on page one fifteen of the world serpent. I went, oh shit, I'm putting it on the chart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, its its head is as big as the city. It's like, dude, this is epic. This is epic. I, I know that we, we jump from DM to DM, and we all do what we do. And, yeah. But we all have certain things. Like I have certain things in my mind. Yeah. Why I, I move certain pieces into place. Correct. And that was one reason. Yeah. That I moved. Yeah, I don't want to go too deep into it, but that just to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was, that was a perfect way. Well, and it, like, it talks hey, about the myth, the myth of the world. I, so I read the description, of course, and you know they talk about it's a myth. Nobody's ever seen one, but they've heard horrors. And I thought, so I'm going to yeah. title the session to witness a myth. Uh, not that you would, but you might. Yeah. 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 So right. anyway, that was fun. That was fun. Anyway, yeah, yeah the fun. image. This is where art inspires me. Simba Room's art is unbelievable. Yeah, and uh, I saw it that is. image of the world server. I said, "I'm putting this on the chart." I know this. Yeah. I know we already have this epic fire that Dell started in this old, but but I've uh-huh. got to have this on the RSC to start. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. yeah, it, it was on there four out of twelve chances. So 
yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Again, every it's a it's a it's a uh, a curved roll, so all the odds yeah. are slightly different for every. But I put it on there on four. There were four chances on the chart, but every chance had a different yeah. percentage. So it was a good ah, chance okay, you were going to yeah. roll World Ser- Serpent Tide. So don't be don't don't Ooh. blame yourself for your own demise. <laughs> oh no no no! I, I, I wasn't I wasn't at all. <laughs> What was some of the other comments? Uh, let's see here. I had uh, I th- I had the cannon. I think the uh, giant serpent, oh. uh, not the world serpent, but a giant serpent. Oh, no. Um, wow. Okay. And I, I avoided all the creatures that would be found in the dark Davakar or in the underworld. Uh, technically, the world serpent is an underworld creature, but it erupts and destroys cities. It erupts and destroys villages. It'll consume villages. Wow. And so if this will wow. hold being on the fire break, of course it, it could and would, right? Uh, so I used it. But like some of the creatures, which are really amazing, they're they're really underworld creatures. So I thought, eh, they're not going to show up here in the middle of the fire. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the world yeah. serpent four times. Uh, uh, goblins uh, 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 shut wow. gate and cut uh, wench, meaning you would all be trapped inside <laughs> this will hold. <laughs> Literally uh, locked in there with a fire, right? Uh, uh, Queen's right. army uh, uh, sequesters and turns the uh, civilians toward the fire. Uh-huh. In other words, we got to put this fire out, and it would it would attempt to oh, get the okay. people to fight the fire. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Saria and father uh, Count uh, Gona uh, request uh-huh. aid from the. So again, this if this had been rolled out at some point, I would have had them maybe right up in the carriage and. And request your aid as the carriage is toppled or something. I would have said to make up how how wow. they end up in front of you, right? Uh, black coats, uh, second group of black coats. Oh my right? gosh! Okay. Uh, so I, I started the. I mean, I give you guys, I gave you guys the setup that uh, there would be black coats in the square. I mean, mm-hmm. I gave you the in media res idea that you were going to be seeing black yeah. coats, but I had a second group of black coats that could have been there. Stampede. I was on here three times. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it makes sense, because though, yeah. this is an yeah. epic panicked population yeah, yeah, of people, yeah. you could have been makes stampeded. Sense. So there yep. were three chances, yep. Todd, or one of you could have rolled stampede that would have definitely happened versus based on some failed rolls that you guys made yeah. in this session. There would have been a stampede at some point, which you would have been crushed, uh, which would be one die four damage that you can't sew. So it wasn't like you'd be killed by it, but you could be wounded pretty badly. Uh, that's, that's it. Uh, and then the, the world serpents on here three times. Yeah, and Mayor Nightpitch, which none of us ever met, uh, his palace would have been in the north of the city. It probably mm-hmm. was burning as the session started, right? Mayor Nightpitch, who knows where Mayor Nightpitch ended up, right? <laughs> Did you say the queen was in the... Uh... No, uh, so so Saria is the queen of Thistlehold, but she is the gotcha. she is the niece, I think, of the queen of uh, the queen. But she yeah, is known yeah. as the Queen of Thistlehold, and her father yeah. is the uh, Count, uh, and he's the Baron slash Count that runs kind of the Queen's Legation. He he lives upstairs. According to the book, it's like he's a he's a freeloading Count who lives upstairs in the in the palace of the Queen yeah, of yeah. Legation. Yeah. She is really the, but he advises her. So uh, the missive that David got in one of the sessions that was signed with an S. If David remembers, he received this miss, this yeah. missive, and it was signed with an mm-hmm. S. Uh, had you explored that, you would have discovered that missive came from the actual Saria. It would have come from the Queen of Thistle, oh, wow. asking for your help behind her dad's back. But you guys never pursued that missive because her father uh, her father's a, the, the a, kind of an evil fuck, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I thought, I, thought right. I, I, I kind of represented Sarah later on or something. It, yeah, it's, it's, S- it's, it's S-U-R-I-A is her name, Surya. But uh, and I think yeah. she's she's she is she's some relation to the queen. I can't remember. It's in the book, but I couldn't remember. But she is the yeah. yeah and her father lives there upstairs, uh, whispering in her ear how to run the city, basically. We don't even know if Bonner's dead or not. So I need to make a character just in case. <laughs> to pick so anyway, yeah. So. Uh, I thought He'll be was, underneath yeah. Bonner and push him over. Get him off me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Same one name. of the bodies, yeah. one of the bodies yeah, piled up there, knocked unconscious, <laughs> not dead. Right, I'm not dead yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, funny. Oh, so, yeah. so Dell may make a new character. Well, certainly Todd. Uh, yeah, I will definitely make a new 
Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. So who's next? Yeah. Who's going to GM this thing next? David, is it your turn? Well, yeah, but I was probably going to do the uh, uh, the uh, Lemuria. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, again, we can get back to Simba Room I, whenever we want, right? Yeah, but I still can uh, – I can I can uh, do the next Simba Room too, yeah. I don't yeah. mind. Yeah. Okay, because I don't mind if uh, – we got Joth next week, right, Todd? Hopefully uh, yep. next Tuesday, yep. 8 o'clock. Uh, Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, eight o'clock. Sweet, yeah, sweet. Yeah, and then, yeah. uh, then we could do barbarians of the Maria like the next week. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then, uh, like I said, that's uh, I'll take a break from Simba Room. That was I had to work hard, man. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard work trying to kill yeah, you guys. That was good. Man. I got one of you. I couldn't get all three of you though. You were almost successful. Uh, almost. <laughs> yeah, almost. I thought I was right? going to uh, – my eyes were going to melt. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, that was uh, – without the World Serpent, uh, you guys would have literally had to outrun the fire, which would have been damage on every turn. Yeah. So you yeah. would have been suffering damage to get to the gate, but because of the World Serpent uh, kind of swallowed it all, uh, I took the fire out of the equation. I, I think that was yeah. made sense since its head is as big as – Damn near as big as this hole, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could yeah. swallow most of the city in one earth. You know, one yeah. Earth yeah I mean, it, it, it was good. It was pretty intense trying to get out of there. It was. Especially going to a wall full of bodies that are clamoring to get out. Yeah. It reminded yeah. me, what was that uh, island that was covered with uh, in history with the volcano? Oh, Flo- uh, Krakato- oh Pompeii, Krakatoa. Pompeii, Pompeii, mm-hmm. when they were trying to escape, that's what yeah. it felt like. You know, it's a great yeah. book. If you guys have ever read Pompeii, uh, the book written, uh, I can't remember, I haven't read it somewhere. It's a great fiction, but dude, is it the best, the best description yeah, really. of surviving Pompeii. It's amazing. And the way uh-huh. he sets up, because they didn't know, they didn't know what a volcano uh-huh. was. They didn't know what it was yeah. to do. And yeah, the way yeah, he uh, – and so his, the main character of the book Pompeii is an architect. He's an aqua. He's the aquifer. Huh. So he's the man that constructs okay. their uh, – their. Uh, he's the Roman Similar. that handled their water distribution, and it was cut yeah. off because the earth had shifted and cut off the water supply. So he's up there oh. on the mountain trying to figure out why the water has been cut off to Pompeii. What's going on? So the people yeah. in the streets of Pompeii are angry and, 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 and because there's no water. They're all – and they don't know why the earth is uplifted and cut off the water supply that would have gotten water down the aqueducts into Pompeii. So the, the book starts with him investigating where's the water gone for Pompeii. And it slowly builds <laughs> as the eruption of Pompeii. And then the whole book is about him trying to ex- escape Pompeii as he describes. The whole book is the description of the eruption of Pompeii. It's a brilliant fiction. It's, it's, I can't remember the author, but it's – and it's one of those reads – I don't know. I did it in one day. I couldn't put it down. It was like 240 pages, and oh, I knocked wow. it out in an afternoon. I could not put it down. It was wow. Amazing. Yeah, and I was so good, I kept it. It's one of those books I'll, I'll keep forever. And there's a great movie, yeah, yeah. a black and white movie called Pompeii. A black same and white thing. movie? It's an old black oh, and white okay. film called Pompeii. Oh, okay. And same thing. He's a gladiator, and uh, he's uh, a, he's an ex-gladiator who bought his freedom. Uh, anyway, when Pompeii goes, it's all about them trying to escape. Uh, as and it for a black and white film, the special effects were phenomenal for the mm-hmm. destruction mm-hmm. of Pompeii. They they made a okay. modern Pompeii too a few years ago. Yes, they did with the guy who played John Snow. Right, right. Oh, really? Uh, right. Okay. And that might I thought that, Aaron, that yeah. might have been based on the book it that I read. Been. I don't know if I don't remember if it was based on the book I read. But either way, if you're into that kind of thing, but unbelievable descriptions of that book of how how of the eruption and the destruction and the and the it's it's phenomenal. Obviously, you have mm. to suspend some disbelief that he and his his uh, his love, because it's a romance. There's a romance, and you know his his his, his fiance escape Pompeii. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah. You have to oh. suspend some disbelief that they're gonna <laughs> fucking escape this destruction, right? But uh, yeah, I pictured Valley sitting there with dirt and ash and everything, but just raining down constantly. Yeah. You know, and looking at the bottom yeah. to us. Yeah, and so, then I tried to describe, cool. okay, how would it feel? If this world serpent was going back into the earth, you know, it's scales rubbing the, you know, as it ripples. And I said, it's like this constant vibration. It's, I was trying to think of ways to describe it, hoping to, in a way to entice you to look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what would make you, you go, what the hell is I mean, this? You would right? look. I mean, you would gonna, look. Yeah. You, 
you you would look you you'd have, you know that's that's tough it yeah. would be hard not yeah. to i'm telling you we no, all yeah it would. you know it even really the bear would. that's <laughs> tearing your your face from your skull it'd be hard not to look at it yeah. right yeah. Mom, oh, yeah, that's yeah. chewing your face from your skull. The uh, grizzly bear. Right? <laughs> that, that, that's pretty awesome because the the one I read, uh, you know, with those the ring of of trolls at the bottom that was yeah. trying to draw them up. Yeah. that's why they were making it sound. You know yeah. what I mean? It was harmonics, kind of like whales. Yeah, to it, attract it, them which way. it describes in the book the troll singers. Yeah, yeah, the troll singers that that control some of these earthworms, right? I think there's a troll sing. Matter of fact, an ill goblin. That can can become a troll singer that can actually command a guan, which is a which is a smaller world serpent, which can be used oh, okay. to actually attack <laughs> villages and shit. Yeah. So I thought if one of you had had an artifact, matter of fact, Rigel, remember the my first session, you guys got yeah, an yeah. artifact yeah. off the yeah. serpent. Yep. Uh, yep. If any of you had kept that artifact, then that was going to be an artifact that a guan would show up trying to devour you to get that artifact back for his troll singer. Oh, right? Wow. But none of yeah, you, yeah. you guys gave the artifact back to Rigel. Rigel so yeah. you weren't carrying around. But I thought there's – every session I thought this might be a chance oh. if they carried this artifact that, that, the, that this guan would show up. <laughs> so, That's so funny because I did the same thing with the, the tuning fork. That was what was needed to to set the tune, the harmonics in that, in that thing. But yeah. that was what – Rigel, I turned him into an old goblin. Yeah. I mean, he was being used. I was I was going to use Rigel, and I thought, <laughs> well, I, I don't know how I would introduce Rigel to you guys as a new ill goblin, right? Uh, I thought, how am I going to do that in the middle of a fire? So I left that. But it was one of the ideas I was thinking, uh, that what if Rigel shows up here with his serpent, right? But I thought, well, we're in the middle of a fire. Why would Rigel show up this hole in the middle of an epic fire? He wouldn't. But the world serpent, on the other hand, yeah. Uh, might have come because of the, cor the the fire and the corruption and the right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was wow. random. But yeah, I remembered you saying uh, Rigel would have become an ill goblin. That <laughs> right. Well, he was being he was being used. You know, correct. Because right, I did right. Yeah, the lore. Well, I mean, if you read all this little bits and pieces in Simbaroom, dude, it's like little with lore. It's it, not. I had like a bill, uh, like a. Board with pin dots everywhere, making oh, connections shit. to everything. Oh. I mean, it, it was like three weeks. Me and Bridget sat down, and I, you know, I had yeah. the whole. So there's connections pretty deep and everything. The little yeah. things I say. You, you've like, done a hell of a lot more work than I have. That's for sure. That's nice. like <laughs> That's nice. Well, well you know, all the work you did fueled my session. Really, the fire, the world serpent. I mean, you really set all that up for me. Well, that's that's how it should work, you know. Yeah, you got yeah. multiple. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you did all that hard work, and then I reap the benefits of the world surface. I reap the benefits <laughs> of the fire, and yeah, when you guys run stuff, and even uh, in Jop when Top yeah. and I think of right. stuff all the time, like, oh man, that's you know that would be that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, that that Apophis uh, deal, you know, that the eye of it. I mean, that goes back to. You know what I mean? When Ra yeah. is going across, and the way they describe Priyos is just like Ra. You know, he dies and he comes back. And yeah, it's basically the yeah, it's an homage to that 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 uh, myth, that mythology. And that's what I brought into it, saying that they that is, you know, yeah. the world serpent this this eating everything. But yeah. anyway, mm -hmm. uh, it's really interesting to pass from DM to DM and just say, yeah. where does it take? Then that's why when you did this, I'm like, oh geez, because to be honest with you. That's what I had them tinkering around in there to do was destroy yeah. the cities. You know what I mean? Take right. them out one by one. Like, damn, he just well, did it for me. And imagine this now. Uh, Thistle Skull, the tent city of Blackmore is now the city. That's all that's left yeah. now in the – Exactly. All right here. So now Blackmore can you know, can build itself as the next uh, queen city, right? Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. We've had a lot go on. Man. We have. And, and in 14 we sessions. Haven't... We really have. Yeah, there's been all kind of stuff. And when I stop and think, yeah, you know, I mean, from even that Mesa that we was at and that that because uh, it was all from the books, you know, when y'all yeah, rescued uh, the that Caravati, uh, the Caravati uh, Mesa, the yeah, barbarian yeah. Mesa Caravati. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he had yeah. on him at the time and what they found. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't want to get too detailed. Now, no, but, but the it's, whole uh, there's so much good lore here and then you can really play with it. It doesn't have to be just. Uh, yeah. Dungeon crawling in the Davakar. I mean, there's a lot of no, good stuff. No. Yeah. No. It's yeah. amazing. I, Matter of fact, we gents, spent. Gents, yeah. I'm sorry. God, uh, I got gents, you. I, 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 I got to sign off because. Uh, okay. Thank you, brother. No Thank problem. you for playing. I'm happy you can make <laughs> yeah, it. No, that was no, awesome. I'm, I'm, 
It was awesome. Very pleased I could make it, yes. yes. So, uh, so looking right. forward to uh, next week and, yes. and beyond. Yes, right. Joff. Awesome. Joff. Right, okay, cool. guys, yeah. i got to head out, but uh, take That's care, cool. and I'll see you next week, okay? Thanks, Todd. All right. Good night. All right. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. He's probably upset about Cabello, so, yeah. I, you know, <laughs> he's a moment alone. <laughs> Yeah, you, <laughs> you know, know uh, or whatever one Cabello's things. worth hey, one Cabello's worth was twenty of our characters. Cabello was a good character. Yeah, that's payback for twenty of our Joff characters. No, <laughs> that's no, what no, I was no, thinking. No, no, no. <laughs> that's hey, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking to myself like, man, I don't. Ace is gunning for us tonight. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make it. Well, I mean. uh uh, <laughs> that's why that armor soak on that uh, wrecking, it's called wrecking. Oh, this thing yeah. wrecks the yeah. earth. It wrecks oh, through its giant the bites. Baby. It's called wrecking. And I don't even know if you get an armor soak for wrecking. I don't, I'm don't. i not oh, sure, but I thought I'm going to give him one because it's 13 points of damage yeah. per no, wreck. It, everything, everything absolutely made sense. You know, yeah. it didn't feel, I'm teasing you, it didn't feel like no, it was fun. you were unjustly under the gun or anything. It it, yeah. it just, the tension, tension was there and it kept getting... Yeah. And you could have higher, died, higher, higher, higher. but if you did, yeah. it would have been dice yeah. rolls. It wouldn't have been, you know, yeah. because well, I wanted good, you all man. dead. But I, I, and if he hadn't rolled World Serpent, the uh, the fire, unless you guys had literally said we're getting the fuck out of here, you guys could have. I mean, got you would have watched this a whole turn. He yeah. said, "Roll your defense minus nine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's not like that. I wanted y'all dead. It was just the die rolls. I know, like all of my target rolls were like five and under, six and under. Like, yeah, well, you said, like, well, okay, two and two and under. Oh yeah, well, like like your uh, cunning checks and your uh, those yeah. were all affected yeah. by the smoke, so they were negative. Like, the darkness, the smoke were negative yeah. threes, um, negative fives. Um, my, my worst stats were getting hit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> right, it was fun. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and Hulse was one of. Uh, uh, oh, I, I knew I was going to bring Hulse into the scene so he could impart information, but his his RSC role, I was like, okay, well, I can still put Hulse in the scene, but he doesn't have to tell you anything. He, Hulse is now just mm-hmm. the – so I used him as a teaser that he climbed up on the roof looking back at the – not knowing what you guys would do with it. I just used Hulse as a teaser, but I was going to use Hulse to impart what – when Todd rolled the RSC to start the session, I thought, okay, I might need Hulse – to impart some information to you, depending on what's ah, rolled yeah, on the yeah, chart. Yeah. So I wanted I yeah, wanted Hulse yeah. in the scene. I already knew though when he rolled World Serpent that I really didn't need Hulse at all. I could have left Hulse out of the hole. But I thought I want to I want to give him another variable in this chaos. Hulse is climbing under the roof of. So I just threw that out there, you know, for the hell of it. <laughs> so he's just trying to get a vintage to see what right. streets were congested, where, what was burning, yeah. to know where to go. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, to, and I, 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 who would have thought it would have inspired you to climb up? Who would have thought that? And then, of course, the earthquake and him filling his roll rolls off, hanging from the edge. It becomes yeah. it becomes then something Bonner is concerned about. You. Right, right. <laughs> so it's like this is why variables. All you need to make sessions live are variables. The players decide how valuable yeah. that variable is. Oh well, yeah, right. you guys yeah. could have said Holson of moron. What's he doing? I'm getting out of here. You know. <laughs> But yeah, so that's funny. But I thought I may need him, so I'm going to put him in the scene in case there's some information he would impart. Right, right. And it turned yeah. out he didn't have any information to impart. <laughs> so, and then when you ask the question, who is that following? I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I remembered, oh, right, he, somebody was chasing him. When I introduced yeah. him in, at the end of uh, – at some session, I introduced him uh, to Bonner following – somebody yeah, was following then, then- him. Yeah, and then that, right. it was really the night, the hit, hero or whatever. That's right, was, his uh, – right, 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 right. I forgot yeah. that. Because so when you said that, I thought, well, Hulse is so stunned by what's else, going you know. on, he doesn't know who, what you're talking about. But yeah, it was it was his yeah. – it would have been his original master that was following around. Yeah, he around. was trying to leave him for some reason. It, right. He was emaciated. But I had completely forgotten felt, that. Yeah. And then I thought, well, it won't matter. Hulse is like in shock, so he won't know what the oh, hell he's yeah. talking about. Yeah, I know that that was that was fine. You know, yeah. the, whether or not he knew he was following who, yeah. what, what yeah. happened. You know, but you know, this is this game. is part of that play to find out, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. I mean, yeah. that's what makes this so much fun, right? It's uh, some of it is prepared, some of it is you got an idea what you're going to put in front of, them. and sometimes it's just a variable that 
that mm-hmm. take shape. You know, like a rant, like a wandering monster can end up being the entire session, right? If you end up in a wandering yeah. monster, you end up in a parlay with a bugbear, and somehow the bu- you end up on an adventure with a bugbear because uh, you parlay, and the bugbear has a positive reaction check, and you end up he ends up telling you about a treasure. So you know, that's that's the amazing thing about a wandering monster check or a random encounters table is they become a variable that aren't that might become the best story that could have or not or, from that encounter comes a story you could mm-hmm. never have planned yeah. or prepared oh, yeah. right yeah, i mean yeah, i knew yeah. i had a fire to deal with and i knew we had holes i mean we knew i knew marius was there was a writ and i gave all that to you so you guys knew what i knew outside of that mm-hmm. and i knew how i wanted to handle the fire i knew how i would handle some of the rscs but the world serpent like okay now i can play with the earthquake i can play with the introduction of the serpent right yeah I love that. Make yeah. total sense. You know what I mean? Especially, uh, yeah, yeah. And I knew it would be yeah. on the list because you had already set the tone that there, the world serpent wasn't maybe a myth. Mm. Yeah. Right? Dale had already kind of said, "Yeah, there's this world serpent out there," and I'm like, "I think that was uh, the the whole uh, ritual that we escaped." Right? Was the yeah, yeah, bringing you forth the, the world character, I think that, that toppled out and yeah, Correct. got a couple of points of damage. Y'all were blown out of that thing like That's a bazooka, right. and it it was. Right. So and then really I remember them. that thinking, "Shit, that means there's a world serpent <laughs> out there tunneling around." So yeah. I'm gonna put it on the list. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to take out. Hey, why not? Yeah, you know, I mean, we, uh, it's, we, it, who, it's amazing. How many things we don't. Yeah, so many things in the all these games. We, uh, as far as like the the game lore, yep, and stuff, we never experience. You know? Correct. Oh, so, so yeah, true. so that's so cool. true. Yeah, so I true. Know, yeah, I, yeah. This one of those things. <laughs> one reason why I uh, don't normally run IP or canon material is, mm-hmm. what are you going to feature yeah. that yeah. that the players yeah. are aware of, right? So, Simbaru. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much you guys have read. I know Dell's obviously done some research because he's he's actually presented much of the lore in his sessions. I've tried to keep it more the Davakar and the so it's it's yeah. it's uh, I cherry pick very much. So I am I am highly ignorant of certain aspects of the of the world, and that's kind of how I like. It. Yeah, <laughs> and honest. this is this is why I generally yeah, don't I, pick an IP. I'll pick a vague yeah. reference to an IP like Conan esque. Yeah. I want it to be like Conan, but not yeah. Like yeah. So then we can, like, we can, the, uh, yep. Uh huh. We can get all Simbaru the flavor of Conan awesome. without it having to be Conan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, and, Simbaru uh, worked out with like into with uh, Lemuria. I'm I'm going to be using another place. You know, yeah. it's fine. You can read the book. You know, I, yeah. I'll take some stuff out of there. Yeah. But I usually do that. I usually just cherry pick. I yeah. rarely. I will sometimes, but I rarely will read. Yeah. An RPG. The lore front to back. I, oh I, yeah. I don't know. It's just just me. Yeah. I, well, I like me. mystery, I and if yeah. I, if I yeah. get too much, like I said, I purposely flipped through and looked for some creatures. I tried to avoid underworld creatures, and I knew I wanted the a serpent of some kind, the guan or the world serpent. Mm-hmm. And then I read a little bit about the world serpent, and that just enough to fuel my imagination. And then I saw the image. I said, "Oh, dude, I'm putting it on here. I'm putting it on here four times." So it went on the chart because yeah. it's just too epic. Oh, that was, like, dude. This is epic. Yeah, that was that was great to me. I, yeah, I, uh, and, uh, I knew that it was a, a creature of nature, of of yeah. of, of, of a elemental thing, you know. And that's all I needed to know. Yeah. So <laughs> and uh, and I thought I'd make my own. I thought, well, you know, it's got rules in there to create your own creatures. Mm-hmm. I said I can make my own. I can do anything I want. But I saw that image. Yeah. I said, dude, I'm just gonna. The myth is real. So Malleus mm-hmm. will have witnessed it. And uh, crazy. Everyone else is dead. Wow. Because any of the people that escaped oh. before the creature showed up, they're uh, well, actually, people from Blackmore would have seen this creature. From miles yeah, away, they have not, right? Thistle. Yeah, right. So yeah. everyone will now know the world serpent's not a like a not a myth. Like a nuclear bomb going off. Yeah, almost, right. You know, right. But Malleus will and Bonner, unconscious Bonner, is really the only two to survive this. Uh, the actual world serpent, because the others would have gotten away, or are the people from Blackmoor and the elves and the as I described the Iron Pack coming out of the woods to watch this hold. You know, almost celebratorily watching Thistle Hole destroyed by the World Serpent, right? Yeah, they may yeah. have to retire him just on circumstance alone. Yeah, he wow. may he may want to disappear Crazy. into the the yeah. bowels of the Yindarus and drink his life, uh, yeah, drink his pain away, yeah. his trauma away. 
Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there are there are there are things that would make you retire as a uh, human being. <laughs> yeah, in the world right. still alive. Yeah. That, that's why I mean he he's seen a lot. You've been there since the start. I've been through like three different possibly three different characters yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only two original left are Taro and Malleus. Taro and Mar yeah. Yeah. And Taro's in yeah. Yindarus having escorted uh you know, uh, but both of you, they, both of those characters have been through hell. Uh, oh, yeah, that's this. what I was gonna say. They definitely have scars. Yeah, yeah. Men mental and, and physical. Yeah, the one on the Mesa when all that went down. Yeah. You know, when it, you know, it was trying to that that was that was right. It's it's funny though. I, I love the fact that you deal you know, with the corruption right. when that red mist. You said all these locusts. Or, that was actually Edder Caps that came in there. What they did was they. Right. Put all that secretion on that statue of Prios on the other side of the thing. Right. You know, they were covering it up and covering the light from right. it and all that that thing that it was holding. So it's it's encased in that now. But I can't, wow. if you never go back, but from y'all's vantage point, you only see a certain amount of what's going on. You yeah. know, yeah. That, that, yeah, that, I mean, that's what, 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 cool what about the characters war. don't learn, they don't learn. I mean, uh, you know, if David had not opened his eyes, I would have never told you it was a world serpent. Oh yeah. my god! So if you had not seen it, I would have. I would have said. I would have left you completely. What the hell was that? I would have left it. That's heavy. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I get it. I'm just kind of pointing out that it's yeah. it's like to me is being a GM and you know what happens on it, just like you would know it's a world ser serpent. It's still kind of cool. It is that you can yes, see the is. larger yeah. thing, and you say they're only seeing through a window like this. That's right. That's exactly and only right. that much. Yeah, you know, and that's so. part of that is part of show don't tell. Right. Yeah. Uh, when you yeah. show characters only what they would know or see from their perspective. Right. Uh, instead of telling them, because then when you tell them, you tend to want to tell them the whole story, which story. Yeah. which which yeah. gives them information they would not have. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, those kind of those are the kind of part of the subtle ways we show characters something as opposed to telling them. I mean, you have to tell them we're in a verbal communication, but but you show it. Right. Uh, and what you don't tell them becomes closer to uh, because they're going to imagine you know again like like uh, Hemingway you know one sentence yeah. story but he leaves it where you'll fill in this unbelievable backstory of the you know that great example of his uh, uh, if you guys know Hemingway's uh, uh, he wrote a one sentence short story uh, newspaper ad uh, uh, baby shoes for sale that's the story uh, okay. what can you imagine <laughs> From that yeah. one sentence, yeah. well, yeah. somebody's yeah. child died, and they're selling the baby's shoes. Why yeah. did the baby die? Who's selling the shoes? Yeah. Who's looking at the newspaper article to buy the shoes? It's one sentence story, but dude, we fill in this, you know. And if you're a parent, the pain you would feel that they're selling, the, or are they selling dead baby shoes? I mean, is it just they're selling their kids' shoes? It's so it's like that's Hemingway. That's what makes Hemingway. Yeah. A mass yeah. in one sentence. He tells a story, but w leaves all of us to imagine what the fuck the details are. Yeah, you know? he encourages our, our own imagination, and yeah. like you're saying, whenever you're GMing, you you do yeah. that and let them correct imagine. You just give them enough to to go on, right? Or you know, so. or you don't. You create a claustrophobic moment where I don't let up on the fire and the flames and the so you can't get away from what I'm telling you. So I have control of that. Yeah. I can give you a little bit and let you – or I can put you in a situation like you did and the one you did, Dell, where we were in that fucking ritual and we couldn't really get away from you know, that – I felt like I was trapped inside this thing. It was, And so you really created a heightened level of anxiety for me as a player through how you controlled that. You know, and same here. I'm trying to not really let you forget there's a giant fire going and it's coming and, you know. So well, that, that, yeah, yeah, that's what I love about the the lore of Simbaroom because I could draw from it and I can go, oh, this piece would fit with this piece. Mm -hmm. Like when you were giving me the little recap, you said I may not know, but I think this and that. And I'm I'm sitting there going like bingo, mm -hmm. bingo. Do you know what I mean? From what you were mm -hmm. you were gathering mm -hmm. from what that ritual meant, right? But see, all those pieces were purposely placed there. Yep. The orb in the middle. What was happening to David's character and around that? There was reasons for all that. 
all that stuff to go on yep. that came from the book. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. yep. it, it, it works. So I love having that. All the pieces, like the toolbox. And you right. go, pop, 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 okay, this is what they're trying to do. Right. And just And lay even it out. if we so didn't I know didn't that, mean, as yeah. you know, I hadn't read much of that that you did. Uh, it didn't matter. What you were describing is all that matters to me as a player. It's like, oh, shit, what's going on here? This is crazy. Same with David. He doesn't have to know if that's in the book. David's experiencing oh, this description. It's amazing. Correct. I'm just yeah. saying the book is Now, if you've read the book, then you. there's this like, oh, that's cool. Dell's referencing what's the lore in the book. Mm-hmm. So you can you can enjoy it from both places, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's 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 just the fact that it's usable. Mm-hmm. It's, oh yeah. It's, yeah, it's great. You, you pull it out, and you go, oh man, they really got this worked out to where it's really codependent yeah. with this thing and that thing. You see, like how the world works. You know, yeah. the flower needs to be, and then they yeah, get all those pieces it's, together, it's, and you go, right. okay, this right. makes sense. Right. You know, when you read yeah. it all. So that's yeah. what I enjoy. It's usable. Yeah. It's not just bull crap. Well, and and they you leave know, enough yeah. of it vague that you can make it your own Simba room. I mean, we've we've been able to make it our own Simba room mm-hmm. plus three, right. and it's yeah. uh, it's still authentic. But ironically, it's ours. Nobody else out there playing Simba room is having the same Simba room experience we're having. Experience, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, do you what do you think about the continuing this? I mean, do you feel like it's going to get to a certain point where we need to check other games or? Like give it a certain uh, length of. I I am not married to whether we continue this or not. It's up to you guys. I I you know uh, we can certainly do other things. I don't. I have no. I have no. Uh, I'm I'm pretty happy. I mean, I'm, you know what? No matter what yeah. we do, I'm happy. But if we want to, great. If we don't, uh, you, it's this, not going to break my heart if we don't. So what do you think, David? If if we do, uh, this is a would be a great spot to end uh, it. <laughs> clean well yeah you know yeah, it's not like it, we can right. never revisit again yeah, but yeah right. this that's if right. we are this would be a good spot to do it yeah because malleus you know? like um, you said i think it makes total sense he would retire he would he would get, he would yeah. limp back to yinderos with all the refugees and yeah. and retire right yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah if he if he does i'd like to have some closure for bonner to see if he lived or not you know right. what i mean to see if you right. drag him out right. or he just so he sit up all so night we could. uh but yeah i mean i'm definitely willing to do barbarians of Lemuria or whatever else you guys have, you know, have planned. Yeah. But uh, I'm not really interested in buying a lot of new games. Uh, so I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. to be careful about investing in Alien or, or something. I would only play for a few sessions. So, But like yeah, Barbarians, yeah. dude, it's $4. Uh, and I've wanted it anyway. Oh, yeah. So it's like, shit, you know, we could play the hell out of that or whatever, you know. Um, and yeah, even, just, even I... my Sword and Wizardry uh, stuff we did, we don't have to keep playing. Mm-hmm. We don't have to have another SOR going. We have Jaw. So... Don't feel like we have to do that. Uh, we do have Todd's brilliant OSR campaign. Yeah, but I mean, not, I'm open. So we don't have yeah, to I'm double up too. on the OSR experience is my point. I just wanted something to do. So oh, oh play I play Simba Room. Yeah, yeah. We can get back to that if we want, but don't feel bad if you guys don't want to double up on that experience because Todd's Joff game certainly gives us that experience, right? I think so, – uh, with this situation, like David was saying, it does make sense that it might be a closing moment where he he would drag himself off and have these stories and be the last one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I could probably roll a dice to see if I lived or died. It, I love the game, though, what it affords me. And honestly, in my take, that would have been like the, my ultimate ending with bringing the world serpent out to destroy something. Right. I was thinking about the main city, to be honest with you. I had a little yeah, bit of a thing. Other than that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From from there to Yindarus, and there were some other things. But it's really like if if we're breaking off to where we could try other games, or even this rotating sure. system. Yeah, that would be that would be fine. But I, you know, I love this game, but we don't necessarily yeah, have to stay in it. I definitely oh, yeah. would would want to uh, potentially revisit. You know, in the future. You know, oh, and yeah. the system is simple. I don't think it's a problem with. You know, oh no, it's not it like is not. Other- Difficult to learn anything, and yeah. uh, the only other yeah. game, uh, the only other two games I run with complete liberation as a GM, or I have run in my career with complete liberation as a GM, has been uh, Blood and Bone, uh, and mm-hmm. uh, of course the uh, AIA and Dark Age of Man because of the way we designed Dark Age of Man. But yeah. AIA uh, slash IDW, those are the de- those are the simple one page RPGs, and Blood and Bone. Mm-hmm. I was completely liberated as a GM, and I still had to roll dice. But Simba Room 
what I love about it is I'm completely liberated to spend all my energy doing what I did tonight when I don't have to roll any dice. I don't have to worry about all that. So I'm completely yeah, yeah. lib. So that's what's really cool about Simba Room for me as a GM is I'm, I was able to put all of my energies on providing information to you guys, right? And then you're rolling the dice. So you're involved in the game. You're rolling the dice. You're and I could use your failed rolls to indicate certain things to me, et cetera, or, or just your results. So, but I can do that with simple games. I mean, I can, I can, I'm liberated. Yeah. And, and even like Sword and Wizardry, I mean, they're simple enough. But I guess what I'm saying is certain games like Simba Room's design really liberates the GM to just do that yeah. job, right? It's so, all. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if yeah. you guys feel that when you run it, but I definitely feel it. So you guys may not oh, yeah, feel that sure. way when you run it, but I do. No, it's, it's it's good. It's easy to run, and uh, I like it because, well, I like the dice system for yep for personal reasons. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it's as far as like it's easy to run to me. I love the fact that we can just quick to the next area that we need to get to. You know what I mean? With the, yeah, scenes. That's what I love about scenes. It, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, it's really yeah, this friendly. Was all, that when way. you think about it, this was one scene. We started this yeah. in yeah, really the res. Yeah. And for two hours, yeah, it, really was. it was one yeah. in-media rest scene. Yeah, Think right. about See, that. I mean, a like two-hour session, it was an hour of your character's life, mm -hmm. one scene. Mm -hmm. We could have we could have been on a stage somewhere. That's right. You know? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> With one backdrop. That's exactly right. Yeah, it's it's amazing when you think about it. It's we never. You guys never left a really a fifty-foot space yeah. until you made a run for the exit, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, amazing. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it seems to me though, it might be like good to revisit. Like they was talking about, like a this is like the trilogy of stories. You know, up to a certain point, if you yeah. want to, or the same. Fourteen sessions out of this. That's not bad. That's yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah. I, and I think I've run. I think I've only run three. I think, have that's I? That's it. I ran the first one. I ran the. Uh, I ran the. Oh no! I have run. I'm. Wow! I forgot. Yeah, I may have run. Wow! Have I run the most? Really? I think you run the most. Yeah, I think you run the most. Then I think Dell might have run. I think more we. Than we I. Okay. Me and David had a couple of two sessions. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. You, know you what? guys. Right. Yeah. You guys yeah. ran. That's right. So we yeah. actually have more like eighteen sessions because some of them were. Maybe close to eighteen. Some of them yeah. were two parters. That's right. Yeah, that's but That's it started with you, and if it ends with you, that would be kind of sure. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Cyclical. Yeah, as yeah. long as I got a chance to kill Todd, damn it. <laughs> but let me let me roll and see if uh, Bonner's alive. Oh. Well, he is. He, he you, already, be... you already made the roll, so he's alive. He's yeah. just unconscious. You made the roll yeah, actually in game. But yeah. death rolls. Is what that I'm was saying. the death roll. You made it. Yeah. But he has to roll again until he dies or either oh, comes no. back. No, because David uh, David then – you already made oh, the roll, right. survived, and David yeah. then stabilized you. So Bonner's yeah, alive. He's just unconscious. He's just beat to hell. Yeah. He's alive, though. He's unconscious. Okay. Right? okay. Yeah, so he actually, well, be... he actually cannot die from the, what happened to him. He's already survived that, and Mal uh, Malleus was able to then – Arrest your that whole doctor. realization is as Malice looks at right. the world serpent heading off into the Davacar, right. and it's just wrecked everything. Yeah, just That's imagine pretty, uh, all that's standing dramatic. is uh, 400 feet of palisade wall and a gate with bodies yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. Just real everything's yeah. changed now. I mean, there is no <laughs> war either, to either, uh, So the barbarians would probably consider it to be sacred, if not the elves. Oh, yeah. The yeah, elves would clearly uh, cheer the yeah. – uh, now, again, even but the World Serpent would be dangerous to the elves, but they would certainly cheer the end of this hole that they despise. Yeah. <laughs> the barbarians are – ironically, the barbarians are interesting. We haven't really toyed with the barbarians at all in this. I mean, Dell took us to Karabosti. No, not really. Yeah. Uh, and we had – Justin was playing a barbarian, so that would have brought more of the barbarian oh, stuff yeah, to right. the game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. But I outside of that, it. I had uh, – the missive, by the way, David, that Surya had sent you to said, hey, could you investigate this? And you guys did something else. That was going to take you to Jakar, which are which is a barbarian area on the map that is hostile to yeah. the humans. Mm. Now, uh, when yeah. uh, Justin's character went off, I referenced him when y'all were coming out of the temple. Right. 
and uh, before we took down the river, you know yeah. what I mean? And they found this broken thing from his tribe. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Yeah, and the barbarians are kind of an interesting culture because they, they ultimately lost the humans and they, they uh, became, in a way, accepting and subservient to the human. The elves, on yeah. the other hand, never have accepted the ambulance. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's kind of fascinating. So the barbarians are very – kind of an interesting culture. We've really not had a reason to, 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 to touch yeah, on. That would have been but all of them are in the Davakar. Every, every, every barbarian tribe is in the Davakar. So that would require a lot of gaming in the Davakar. Right. Yeah. But the the Iron Pack too. That was the first encounter we had with the snake, and then yes. that was who was watching the decimation of yep. this old. Yep. And that first artifact, I was going to use at some point to bring uh, the Gua, uh, the Guan Ill Goblin Guan upon a character. But you guys mm -hmm. gave the thing to Rigel, and I said, "Well, maybe it'll show up and and get well, Rigel, eat Rigel at Blackmore at some point, right?" But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, since we've concluded this, that was yeah. what I had the Guan was what the troll that I had down right. there. That's right. how he would dig these tunnels underneath. Yeah, symbol. I mean, underneath this hole yeah. right there too. Anyway, yeah, that's, but it all makes logical sense, right? I mean, if it doesn't, yeah. if you don't have to make sense anyway. Why are there caves down here? You don't matter. But but when you know mm -hmm. that they could use Guans as servants to dig holes or to attack. People to get exactly because they mostly use guans to hunt down artifacts that they want back, right? That yeah, have been yeah, taken it, it, it by the a, party from the Davakar. It's like, dude, you get a treasure and you keep it, you might end up in the middle of the night, right, yeah. swallowed by a guan. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, so I, I had one underneath this a hold anyway. You know what I mean with yeah. that. So. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it was re really interesting. Really, yeah. uh, so yeah. we can always come yeah. back cool. to this. We can embrace. Yeah. You know, I'm game, guys. I'll play or do whatever, and I can GM or not GM. I don't care. I just I enjoy the shit out of what we're doing. So, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm having fun. I just enjoy the com comradeship and the great game. Yeah, likewise. I mean, uh, and barbarians, I definitely want to do. So we got to find a day for sure to do uh, Lemuria, right? Uh, yeah, we'll yeah. just uh, yeah, we'll just off the top of my head, we'll just uh, as a uh, next next week. That Joth and then Thanksgiving. Oh right, so we'll yeah. Shoot for the week after that, we'll shoot for the week, the Wednesday after yeah. that. Yeah, twenty. That'll I think the twenty ninth was that the twenty ninth. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Twenty ninth. Okay, yeah. We'll we'll shoot for that. Okay. And then as long as everybody's you know on board, and uh, I'll just make sure that I'm you know, uh, ready. To I roll? start getting the brain. Yeah, the brain going. I'll I'll throw some stuff out there for you guys. Yeah. And character creation is very easy. Okay. Take you probably 15 minutes, you know, if you want. Sure. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And I love 2D6. Yeah, yeah. Love 2D6. Yeah, it'll you have to yeah, roll a uh, 9 with your attribute. So, Dell, it's very simple. You roll 2D6, you add your ad yep. attribute, and you have to beat 9. Yep. Yep. Add it's an attribute super in simple. combat or, yeah, add an attribute in a, a combat skill or add an attribute in a background. Right. Uh, if I, may, I may have it on PDF. Uh, well, I I, uh, yeah, it's $4, yeah, but, uh, but if not, I can send yeah. you uh, – I, I better not record this. I'm recording. I can't say this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me pause yeah. this before I say. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> We'll get you. We'll get you one way or the other. <laughs> We're going to – we'll loan you the that. we'll loan you the four bucks, brother. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Or I yeah, can make your character I for you. I'll make you <laughs> Sheila, uh, Queen of the Jungle. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Actually, there's a barbarian uh, game based off of the uh, Gumshoe system. I think it's by Kevin Cole oh, really? who did the Time Watch. Wow. Yeah, I can't remember okay. the name of it, but it, it seems interesting. I think I got that in PDF somewhere. So, what too. does Gumshoe do that would that would make you want to make a barbarian yeah. game based on Gumshoe? I don't know. I because Gumshoe is an investigations like the... game, right? Yeah. That's well, what I mean. it, it's that's no what rolling to it. You know what oh. I mean? It's just a, depending. It's more of a narrative thing, but it depends on if you've got the skill, then you get access to certain information when you get there. So it facilitates fast play, but. I, I would. What I'm saying is, I haven't read that much. I think I got the PDF, okay, which I could probably send to you for four dollars and uh, <laughs> make a trade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, oh wow, they've got interesting. a Pathfinder mashup. Pathfinder. <laughs> have a lot of. Stuff. 
Wow. Yeah, that's what it says. I didn't look at it yet. So, I'll be darned. Uh, I was just looking out of curiosity. I know they got like sci-fi. Yeah. Kind of like horror stuff. Because uh, I mean, it's I mean, it, 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 there must be something about that s- system that works for all these other IPs. And I just yeah. when I hear Gumshoe, I think straight up investigation yeah, stuff. Yeah. So that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's it, that would be interesting to know what that system does that would make those it other IPs like powerful. A, uh, what do you call yeah. it? Uh, uh, noir, the noir detective. Is that how you how do you? Yeah, the... uh, noir. Yeah, uh, yeah noir, all the noir yeah. means is yeah. dark, right? It, it just means. Yeah, they've got is. they've got that. Yeah, which makes sense. It's detective. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've got the Cthulhu. A lot of the Cthulhu stuff. Yeah, see, and that would make sense because Cthulhu is really a mis- investigation game, right? You investigate supernatural events, right? And, Right, yeah, uh, but barbarian. I like. I would love to know how they how they make barbarians or pathfinder work. With Sword Goshu. of the that's serpent, the serpentine. Swords of the serpentine. Uh, yes, I think that's yes. there it is. Yes, that's it. Fascinating, yeah. uh, fascinating. Sword and sorcery game of daring heroism, sly politics, and bloody savagery. Well, there you go. No shit. That in a wow. city rife with skullduggery and death. It's a gold bestseller. Wow. Uh, your character here you go here you go jason your character will discover lead okay and if followed propel them headlong into danger and forbidden knowledge nice. a lead might point the way to the sunken treasure wow. jungle ruins the missing key to a sorcerer's trap or the true identity of a notorious murderer so there's your investigation there it is so right. how does so then combat must require more than just I don't know. I've never. Uh, I've, because, I think I may have. So I doubt you just game, assume winning in played. combat, right? There must be some mechanics in combat, right? That's I don't know. We may have to look into this. Yeah, yeah. that may be another one we want to we want to try, right? The gumshoe game mechanics ensure that you'll always notice leads if if you look for them. Right. It's up to you to choose which one you'll follow into whatever perils lie ahead. Nice. So there you go. Nice. That sounds like a very cool oh, mechanic. Yeah, it might be something to look into. Hell okay. yes, yeah. Uh, Thirty bucks for their PDF. Yeah, that ain't bad. Three hundred and ninety-two pages. It's a lot wow. cheaper with me. I'm only asking for four, you know. So I can. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're practically saving. You're saving like twenty-six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be okay, that we'll would be one to on try. List, that would be one to try yeah, for we'll sure. Man. Okay, cool. I yeah. I forgot all about. It. Yeah, I would okay. think Gumshoe would work for. You know, uh, even, even like space, uh, yeah. like a, a 2001 well, space time. odyssey type thing, right? Yeah, I've got well, time watching there. Yeah, I haven't looked. I mean, yeah. that's amazing. So, okay, considering yeah. I've never played it, uh, it sounds like yeah. it might it might be an interesting uh, uh, way to do all those IPs. That's very cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah, I yeah. saw them. Bar- Barbarians of Lemuria is what a mithril, right? It's I mean that thing is popular. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's been around too. That that's the thing too. I guess yeah. it's, they've had a couple of different versions. And yeah, I mean I've heard I heard about it. I want to say eight years ago when when Tim Harper was talking about it and playing it. Yeah, I think it was, so yeah. So it was a long time ago, and, and then I forgot all yeah. about it really. Uh, um, and I just didn't I have just at the never, time a group uh, that was interested in it or uh, local at, or online, so I never got into it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, same thing here. Yeah. yeah. And if I'd have known it was a 2D6, I thought it was a dice pool system back in the day, and I thought I'm still willing to try it. I mean, I don't dislike dice pool games, but at the time, I I didn't. Yeah. But now that I hear it, I I heard it was 2D6, I'm like, dude, I'm I'm definitely going to do this. Yeah. 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 I think it just kept getting bumped down on the list for me, and, you know, other stuff pops out. There's so many games. Yeah. I know. I mean, I don't know how many uh, I've even bought and had plans to play, and would end up donating them before I even got around to playing yeah. it was just so much stuff yeah. so much time. Yeah. So and we we could actually rotate and just uh, if we wanted to just pick one shot for different games. Mm-hmm. Uh, that might be interesting. Like I, I wanted to play and I know you did too the uh Apes Victorious. Oh yeah. The old yeah. school Planet of the Apes. Listen dude, one of my favorite oh, really? sci-fi genres is Planet yeah. of the Apes. Absolutely love Planet of the Apes. Apes that Victorious would be is so Apes Victorious oh, is Labyrinth. Uh, the guy that wrote uh, I have a forward. Pro, uh, David Pro, Pro – what's his name? Uh, anyway, yeah, he, no, Goblinoid I mean, Games, uh, Labyrinth Lord uh, author, wrote Apes Victorious. 
So it, it's yeah. a, it, it's a little like Labyrinth Lord, but the combat system is completely different than the traditional D twenty uh, uh, armor class. So you combat. Yeah, you is sling cool. Uh, yeah. Is it like a? Is he like an independent publisher or something? Or David you, David uh, Proctor, uh, Goblinoid Games, and uh, so he. Oh, so okay. he made uh, Labyrinth Third Lord, time. Advanced Labyrinth Lord, and then he followed with Age. Well, he started Wars. the whole OSR movement. Yeah, basically with that game. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. And uh, Labyrinth yeah. Lord, I had I had not GM'd or played in I think eighteen years. Uh, Labyrinth Lord is what brought me back to gaming. I had not yeah. I had retired and not played in like eighteen it, years, and then Labyrinth Lord was the game that got me back to the table. Yeah. In effect, that that was kind of what did it for me too, because I, that's what I, I ran Jory through the little module at the, in the back end of, the book, of it, you yeah. know, right? Yeah. And that was he barely got out. And I just you know, love well, Planet of the Apes. Is just a great sci-fi film, and I just love that. And you can start it where you're either astronauts crashing on the planet, or you yeah, can be, or you can be apes. apes. You can actually play apes. You can play the uh, psych, uh, you know, the guys that in Battle for the Planet of the Earth. You know, what were these guys? The mm -hmm. psych, the psycho that had the psionics powers. Those you can play those characters. Yeah. But generally, you play mm -hmm. astronauts. But either way, it's a great game. But yeah, that and those would be great one-offs because you could do a simple Planet of the mm -hmm. Apes episode. And if you ever remember the old TV show, Planet of the Apes, those little episodes. Well, like we, we had a great, yeah, we had a great time playing that uh, in dark places. At least I did. You know, me well, and, I, and, I, and oh, you know, yeah. yeah, you know, that little sci-fi. You didn't like uh, that, David? I've, I've, I've worked my ass what, off what, on that, that session. What? What are you talking about? The uh, the the <laughs> uh, those dark places, the the space one I did. Uh, where you guys ended up fighting the android, the the crazy android? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, that's, that's super sure. easy. Yeah, no, that I, game I, is I was super. Easy. To I didn't, I didn't remember what system that was. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm teasing you. I, I, I figured you enjoyed it somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> it, once again, it was another nail biter. So yes, I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure I was gonna, the devil was gonna die in that, but he he pulled off a shotgun <laughs> blast that uh, got it done. That was fun. Yeah, Jory had timed out the uh, yeah the airlock just in time. That was fun. Uh huh. Jory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one shots are. I mean, we can switch to rotating one shots for a while until we yeah. find something that we want to do. Further. I am. So uh, cool. I'm game for whatever. And like I said, I I like people to run what they're what they want to run. Um. You know, I want I want the guy who's running the game to want to do it and be most invested in it because then I'm going to enjoy it as a player, guaranteed. Right? Yeah. Right. So yeah. Uh, I, if, if, if somebody says, hey, dude, I really want to run this, great. I just may not own the book and you may have to kind of make a character walk yeah. through it. But but I, I, I mean, the GM role, no matter how we do it, is always, is always more work than being a player. Right? So you want guys that are GM yeah. if you're running something they really want to run. Yeah. You know? You know, it's the four agreements, yeah. right? Uh, don't take anything personally. Uh, uh, you know, do everything to your fullest. And I can't remember the other two agreements. So that's how much. That's how much I've remembered the four agreements. <laughs> but the reality is, right? Don't take some. Don't take anything personally. That's how you get through life. Don't take it personally. It ain't got nothing to do with you. It's got to do with them. And whatever you do, <laughs> do it to a hundred percent. Do it to the best of your ability. And. Yeah. Uh, so if I can't do that, then I try not to, because I don't want to give people oh, yeah. a bad experience or be a, a, a negative human being. So if I can't do that, I just won't. Yeah. I won't do it. So I try to at least run games that I want to run, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. so if we do yeah, a sure. if we do a shared GM thing, that's fine as long as I'm cool with the system, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like two D twenty, I don't know if I'd want to ever run. I would play two D twenty, Conan, Star Trek, but I don't know if I want to run a two D twenty game. Yeah, I I wanna I wanna try that. I uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's on my list too. Because I, I enjoyed I, Conan. Uh, Lee Rimmer ran a brilliant Conan uh, session for us, and uh, yeah, Antoine, uh, Com Complex Games Apologist ran us a great Conan game, and then Antoine ran some really good Star Trek Adventures 2D20. So I really enjoy 2D20 as a player, but I just don't I don't think I have the mentality to. It's very it's really strict for the GM and, and for the is it really? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, the, like tonight, I I couldn't have been, I could not have been. So in two D twenty, I could not have been, I could not have introduced the world serpent without the right mm -hmm. amount of threat or doom. Ah, uh, you're okay. so you can't yeah, just it. introduce okay. uh, really the world really. serpent without 
without without resources. So the players that makes sense. the players give you resources by buying them so they can succeed at rolls and checks. And then I end up collecting, uh-huh. so let's say, ten chips, and then I can look at it and say, okay, I get to spend I can spend six of these chips to really fuck up their day and introduce like Conan. If it's a Conan game, that's when the ceiling of the cave starts to fall in on you, right? Because I spend four doom to bring the ceiling down in your head. Yeah, right? I got gotcha. you. So it's yeah, meant to I, be yeah. where the GM is more of a, a, a player via resource management to some degree. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quickly summing this up. but And I think it's amazing to create a different environment for both players and GMs. Uh, there's a lot of resource management mm-hmm. because I'm buying, spending momentum, and, yeah. and the GM is using threat or doom. and. And they're scene based, like Star Trek is scene based. So you, you you achieve certain momentum in a scene, and then that can be carried over to the next scene, and that kind of stuff. But but it's it's a fairly strict. I won't call it complicated. That, you know, you're rolling two. You're rolling a, a pool of twenties under a number to be successful. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do believe there's degrees of success on a on a minor level. I can't remember now. It's been a while. But the point is, mm-hmm. it asks the GM to play with some pretty strict rules. Gotcha. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, Lee Rimmer was really good at explaining and he may still have those videos. I don't know. Does Lee, uh, does he still have his channel on YouTube? I haven't. I was subscribed to it. He hasn't put anything out in a while. Yeah, it's I been a long remember, time. And, but, but Lee oh, did a great yeah. job talking about how in his local campaign, he used Doom to introduce these threats to the to the heroes yeah. in Conan and, and uh, Louis. Uh, I can't remember his YouTube channel now. He played a whole. He played a whole campaign of 2D20 Conan on his channel, and you could watch all well, his live plays. Okay. And, uh, but it is definitely – it's it's complicated, uh, but it's I think it's a strict mechanical game in many ways, which is why a lot okay. of people don't like it. So as a GM, yeah. for me, it, uh, it definitely feels like I'm restricted to what I can do as a GM because I have to have the resources yeah. to do it, which is fair for the engine. But point is I would love to yeah. play in it, but – I don't know if I'd run it. You want to run it? I got you. That's like, fair. especially yeah. like John yeah. Carter from Mars. I've, I, that two D twenty game mm-hmm. would be great fun. John Carter swords and uh, yeah, from what I understand, yeah. there yeah they have like different gradients. You know, Correct. where some of them are a little more loose. Yeah, I think two. Others, I think John Carter's so. much simpler version of of because two D twenty Conan dude is de- it's dense. I mean dense. The it's character dense. sheet, okay. I think it's four pages long. It's a dense game. Oh gee. Yeah, 2D20 is a lot okay. of uh, <laughs> skills and traits and, and yeah. That that may take dense. me a while to get geared up for that for you guys. So, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, we can do Conan with Barbarians of Lemuria. I'm, I mean, yeah, you know, that's true. Conan but I, is a, I just would like Conan to experience is a, the 2D20 game. Yeah. That, that's all. Conan yeah. is a, uh, a a place of mind, spirit. It's it's mm-hmm. not a game. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I agree. <laughs> right. I agree. I agree. So anyway, uh, but yeah, we could do that, Bill. I mean, we could. I I could pick a game and do a one off. You could pick a game and do a one off, or we can, or we but can all I, pick I a game and rotate again. Yes, yeah, so some of our um, backlogs. You know what I mean? I got games sitting there that, like, I got Baker Street. That you know, Sherlock, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes type Is that a role playing so game or just, a board game? Yes, a role-playing game. Is it really? But oh, uh, really? yeah, and, and, and one of the uh, one of the things that I like about it mechanically, there's there's a thing that where you're having to discern the case before the guy that you're trying to apprehend commits another one. So there's a like a tracker uh-huh. 